Wake up, gamers, because you're listening to the Big Think Dimension with Dan and Bob Video Games. Bob, we've got a job. Good. KZ Excellent. Catchphrase. And Mr. Feel. Hey, let me use these calipers on your skull. Here on Gigaboots. <laughs> Bob and I watched the second and third Mommy film. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh. I've never even seen you the third one. leave this house to start moving, and that's when you watch the other Mommy. Uh, hey, th- hey. <laughs> Those movies are moving core. You put them on while you have to arrange the living room. I, yes, yeah, basically. That is literally what we did. <laughs> Yes, just like just like syndicated fucking shows like NCIS and King of the Hill. Yes, actually, it does fill a very similar slot to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we. Uh... Okay, so you know that scene everyone makes fun of in Taken. I believe it's Taken two or three, where he has to jump the fence. Yeah, this is no exaggeration. Bob can back me up. All of that third, the Mummy film, the one that's called the Dragon Emperor, is that nonstop. The whole movie's cut, 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 cut with terrible CG and terrible green screen. And all of this would be just kind of bad. But the writing is the most inhuman thing ever where it's like, hey, I'm talking to you, human. This is a thing I'm saying to you. And instead of having a human response (laughs) based on the information they just got or the situation they're in multiple times throughout the movie, a character will just say, this is my deal out loud <laughs> i i wrote books based on our adventures in the mummy one and two and i'm like i know movie this is the ending why is she just saying this again <laughs> i'm not exaggerating yeah. for anyone who's seen that movie you can back me up on that that's the ending scene <laughs> god that, that this movie is insane the third one yeah it not just like it's bad for all sorts of reasons like that uh-huh. but it also has the insane thing of like brandon Fraser. He is now going to play the old man who's retiring role. And he's like 42 or something. It doesn't work at all. Yeah, it's very bizarre. They, 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 there is a really strong parallel between this and what I perceive to be the movie Indiana Jones and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah. Like, it seems to be the same sort of thing of like, and there's my kid and my kid's into adventuring and I'm old now. So I guess... I gotta pass on the torch. And it's <laughs> like, but you're not that old, and you're king. He, they cast his child, guys, as someone who's only 13 years younger than him, and he's 26. So it's very <laughs> clear, <laughs> impossible. Oh, 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 oh. No, <laughs> it makes, that's insane. It makes <laughs> zero sense. And they recast his wife entirely. This movie is uh. weird. It is bizarre to deal with. And to add one more layer of stroke, okay? Uncharted 2 kind of rips off this movie, but does it well. God damn it. (laughs) Uncharted 2 comes out the year after this. Oh, no. Man, Naughty Dog has never really invented anything, have they? Of course not. At least in this case, they improved. It wasn't an Uncharted 3 situation. (laughs) (laughs) It was earlier this week, Universal Pictures just put out, like, a tweet that's like here's a clip here's a fight scene from this movie and i'm and i'm like oh man this is uh doing some mileage why is this so badly edited like the whole thing yeah that's the movie nonstop the whole way it's insane you, just, you 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 can't, you can't figure out where people are standing in relation to each other i was just like confused at this michelle yo jet lee fight that i'm like please stop cutting what are you what are you doing <laughs> yeah it's embarrassing yeah, that's their, one of their big end of movie well, fights. Yeah, that was that's actually the set piece moment of the movie conceptually, aside from, you know, because it's a mummy film, Mummy Armies, which they really bring back into The Mummy Returns, which is the second one. <laughs> oh, that, there's so much wrong with that film. You could spend forever talking about it. I think I hit the <laughs> highlights, though. <laughs> Bob, is there anything uh-huh. you wanted to say before we moved on? Not really. <laughs> okay, uh... Agro told me the second mummy film is crap and the first one's actually good. He said the second mummy film is the bad one. The first one's actually good. Um, I will say the second film's bad, but it's bad in a completely different way to the first one that I kind of like more. Okay. That's, that's where I ended up on that. Yeah. It seemed like it took itself even less seriously and was fun. Most of the time it does some really dumb stuff near the end, but I'm like, whatever. It's, yeah. There's a, there's a, dumb, but... there's also a bunch of dumb writing decisions that don't make a ton of sense in places. They should never have used CG. <laughs> it, ha- oh, it, ha- no. it has CG the rock. 
That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. that shit's that shit stuck with me. Yeah. If there's a single yeah. cinematic experience for my youth that I have perfectly crystallized, it was the moment that motherfucker came out that door. I love they they entered the temple and like the mummy from the first film. They take all his magic powers away, so he has to fight the rock man to man. And then the rock is a scorpion. Yeah, he's like a fucking <laughs> yeah. story tall scorpion. It's like, wait, why did Anubis want him to... What? Dude has well, fucking favorites. Yeah, dude has favorites. <laughs> Which is fair. I mean, come on. It's the rock. Yeah, it's the rock. Yet again... Is it is it actually the rock? I don't think it's the rock. <laughs> I, I think I think it's the rock as presented in the PS1 game for the mummy too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it really is that tier. It is funny that the only part that the rock actually plays is the intro and that's it. Yeah, even knowing that going in, you're just I'm just flabbergasted again. Just being like, there's really like three minutes of The Rock in this entire film. Yeah, I was, I distinctly remember, I'm not a wrestling fan, never have been. Yeah. Even I was disappointed and upset. Yeah, same, same. I, I, I haven't been heavy into wrestling in a very, very long time. Even by the time this movie came out, I was out, right? Right. Like I would play the N64 games or the PS1 games. But by the time the PS2's out, I'm just out. And even still, I'm just like, but, but I like The Rock. You you said he would be here. <laughs> yeah, he's the dude. He 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 wants me to get an Xbox. Hey hey honey, the Rock's gonna be at your birthday party for eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was cool. <laughs> he sort of drove past slowly. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even wave. That's kind of. At least I assumed that was him. It was hard to see through the tinted windows at a side <laughs> angle. But yeah, no, the, the mummy the mummy films are bad, Agro. I'm very sorry. I know you're listening to this and you're crushing your smartphone in your fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> but the, they're they're all bad. It, it's funny that the third one is so outlandishly bad that it's kind of unrecognizable as a mummy mummy film a lot of the time. It's, dude, it's so bad, it's almost unrecognizable as a film. <laughs> oh, yeah, one more thing about that one. Yeah, sure. We went and watched the deleted scenes. Every one of them would have made the movie better. Every single one. <laughs> they literally just cut out connective tissue for scenes in character development. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nuts. Every deleted scene time. was bad. <laughs> they had fully visual, visual effects fully done for all of them, too. And it's like, it's everything from character motivation and relationships that were unclear to fight scenes that now make sense <laughs> yeah. to the ending joke of the movie being the, the, the sequence of three. You know, they have the first setup in that and it's yeah. actually a good setup. They cut it entirely. Then they do the second one, which is supposed to be the echo, right? Right. And then they do the third one immediately. And I'm like, that was a weird structure for a joke. And then it goes, well, they deleted the scene before that where his brother's being a piece of shit and sets up the joke. And I'm like, well, that would have been nice to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's just that in the absolute what? final fight scene. Yeah. Ruined. <laughs> yeah. That, it is. It is. <laughs> guys, it is bad. I have not seen a movie this bad in a very long time. Because we watch a lot of series. <laughs> All right? It's like Bebop yep. isn't a movie. <laughs> uh, uh. So, uh, Bob, would you recommend people watch? <laughs> Which one? Uh, Dragon Emperor. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about the other one? Mummy Returns. Uh, sure. Uh, it's it's it, bad, but uh, it's kind of funny. It, I, I'm going to give this it, a... It's a, it's a <laughs> moving core movie. You watch yeah, while yes. you're putting together a chair. Yeah, that other one doesn't even aspire to that. <laughs> no. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> uh, the Mummy Returns, I'm going to give it a... Uh, it's okay. Out of 10, uh, the other one, absolutely not. No one should waste their time watching that. Uh, y you know how in the, the second Uncharted film, they find Shangri-La and there are yetis? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if what if in Charted Two they just looked at Shagger Law and then wandered out? <laughs> it didn't go there. They yes. literally just look at it yes. and then <laughs> slightly off screen. It's just a green like, screen CG cool. background. And anyway. They look at it. Yes, that's literally what the movie does. 
<sighs> it's not even enjoyably bad. It's just confoundingly bad, which in and of itself is amusing after the fact. But while watching it, you're just frustrated and confused and not entertained. But anyway... That's it. I'm done. I'm done talking about Dragon Emperor. Uh, Bob and I did not stream anything last Friday. We were uh, trying to do a fucking emergency move of all the stream equipment into Bob's living room. Yes, that's right. Bob's house when is you yet go again. From having a house to having a house full of Dan's things. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, the, the saga continues. Yep. Uh, this setup is a lot smarter than it was last time. God, is it a lot smarter? We used to have run HDMI's across the room and all sorts of shit. Right. Things were terrible. It's a, it's a lot more lean this time. Uh, and things are mostly up. Uh, we went to record today and Agro came over to record and I forgot to grab more stereo headphone jack splitters. So we had to use a laptop so that way he could hear the people on the internet. So it's not 100%. But for streaming, it was fine. We did the Pokemon Mondays. Yeah, we did yeah. Pokemon Mondays. We did that. Ho hopefully, by the time this comes out, it will be testament that, like, oh, Friday stream also went great and everything was fine. <laughs> and at no point did they need to leave the stream halfway through because they forgot a small thing on the other side of town. <laughs> but uh, we have no idea. I have been doing that all week. I have played nothing else, obviously. <laughs> hey, Bob, did you play a video game? Yeah, I got to play a little bit of King of Fires 15. Okay. They added those new characters. We got Geese. We got Billy Kane and Yamazaki. Cool. Nice. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. I've never been a fan of Billy Kane. I don't know. I assume people he's, like him. Yeah. I think his, <laughs> his backstory is kind of interesting, but he's just a British guy as a stick. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Like, he, he's like... That's not as cool as Yamazaki, who can cut you in half with his arm from halfway across the room. I mean, yeah, Yamazaki is like so much cooler than either of these guys, in I, my opinion. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, not as cool as uh, Yamazaki. Geese is, is not pretty, fair. Geese is pretty fucking cool. But I'm just I, saying, I not, not as cool as Yamazaki. It's a very fucking high bar. It is. <laughs> yeah, like, I know nothing about KOF, but I'm like, this dude looks nuts. <laughs> just looking at some of his moves and his general, like, design. Uh, this is also since they all get fancy suits. This is the first time Billy Kane's wearing anything remotely nice. <laughs> really, it's just him in a yeah. He, he normally suit. wears like he normally wears like an open jacket and his stupid fucking Union Jack headband. Yeah, uh, that's, I, yeah. I th I think it's messed up that Axel Lowe just showed up and made it, it erased him. <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of bullshit, but it's the world we in, live in. I'm sorry. It, in in one of I think in '95 he's just wearing fucking overalls with nothing under it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. That's how that's the look I remember for Billy Kane. <laughs> and like, this is the most hideous fucking thing I've ever seen. Here, I found I found art, and yeah, it's fucking dire. I, I feel like Geese is like, if you're going to work for me, you have to you put on a suit, <laughs> right? Please, like I, I can't sh I can't show up at the tournament with you wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I I do really like playing as Yamazaki mainly. Like that's the one I I was actually starting to jive with some more. He has some interesting counterattacks where he taunts the enemy with his face, and then they punch him in the face, and he heads butt them, and then they take damage, not him. <laughs> <laughs> Like okay, um, but yeah, he's a really strong villain type character, and I, I feel like we need more of those in KOF. Mm -hmm. Um, I did not get to play as much of that as I wanted to, but it is pretty cool from what I did. Yeah, once things fucking calm down, right? I'd love to play some King of Fighters fifteen. <laughs> when when are they gonna bring back Mister Big? Since they need more villains. Huh. Yeah, Mr. Big was great. He has just two sticks he hits you with. <laughs> yeah, he does. He has fuck. He does fucking um, a screama. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. That's 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 that's, that's the name of that martial arts where uh, uh, I have no idea if this is true or not, or is just some bullshit that people made up. But uh, a screama was where uh, some fucking Nazi force or some fucking fascistic force saw saw the Filipino martial artist practicing a scream and like we have to kill all of them if a single one of them escapes they'll ruin our shit we have we have to purge this martial art from the face of the planet or they'll just kill us oh my god <laughs> wow I would not heard that story before uh the only other thing I really got to play much of was uh Sekiro 
I finally um Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that, Bob. What's up? I saw you're you're playing it on PS5, right? Right. Why would you do that when the Steam Deck will allow you to set the refresh rate to 40 <laughs> so you can get a nice smooth 40 frames per second? Because I don't want that. <laughs> but Bob, it's oh. convenient and portable so you can ruin your wrists in bed. A lot of what I hated about the play Sekiro the first time was PC nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. this is better than that. It's got <laughs> Linux compatibility layer nonsense. Great. How's uh how's that going for you? It's still going well. Uh, I finally got back to the I think it's some of the only missable content in that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like these alternate memories you can do where you do alternate battles in areas you've been to before. Yeah, and that stuff is really good. I'm sad that I missed that on that the first time because that has one of the cooler fights in the game. <laughs> I'm like, wow, you really I- put this in here. I also missed out on that fight, and I was pissed because I'm like, I've literally, I'm literally missing HP upgrade points because I, I, I just missed out on this area. Yeah, you miss HP upgrade points. You also miss um attack up, a an attack up point. And uh, when I and I when I was failing to beat the final boss, that was my cope. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> the, there's just stuff in the air I can't even get. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's unfortunate they made it missable. But that's from soft for you. Yeah, yeah. And so I've just been using the guide to go make sure I do not miss <laughs> it this time. Yeah, make sure to properly eavesdrop. Um, but yeah, that that was really cool. Um, th- this game running at sixty is very nice. Yeah, and I, I definitely appreciate how different it is from a typical Souls game because there isn't like graveyard runs or anything like that. I don't need to yeah. go grab my souls. It's just. If you die, you're dead. <laughs> you lose that yeah, stuff, like, or you don't. Whatever. There's like a thirty percent chance that you just don't lose souls when you die. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, it's a really different feel. I'm glad that uh, that I'm doing a replay of this, and I'm getting really near the end because uh, that this stuff is. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm on the final area. Yeah, I'm fairly certain. Like that last thing we were talking about is just like a thing you could do before just going to beat the game, right? Uh, but that is all I've been able to play. Uh, I have a quick question, though, Bob. Yeah, what's up? Is anything in Sekiro as cool as the King's Field 2, which is actually three skeletons? <laughs> I, this is an important question because I was watching uh, Rig from Retro Island Gaming uh-huh. uh, uh, fight these skeletons, and uh, they're, they're, they're amazing. They are the most PS1 core. We got the skeleton. <laughs> There's no asset store yet, but somehow we found these from an asset store. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here, I'm going to post it so our co-host can, can see this fucking skeleton. Okay. <laughs> of course, the freeze frame doesn't do justice to uh, the animation that both it and him have swinging, but... That's I a, can imagine it. That is uh, I know <laughs> Kingsfield. Uh, this has got and some good bone structure. Uh-huh. And there's three of these, and that's the boss. <laughs> Is that how this works? Uh, well, the room was kicking his ass, and it did happen to have two or three of them. So, I yeah, hope that's so. a bo- the, uh, the, uh, This is a boss in Dark Souls Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say when you said the three, I'm like, are you making fun of the skeleton lords, where it's just three skeletons? Yeah, they're like three skeletons with fancy hats, and 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 they ominous, they menace you while summoning other skeletons. That's a boss in Dark Souls Two. Um, there is no, there's no skeletons in Sekiro, Sekiro that I found. There's zombies. Mm-hmm. There's, um, ghosts. All right. There's, what is it? Um, illusions of ghosts. What does that mean? Yes. <laughs> um, which are pretty cool. Cause then you find the dude who's like doing the, the mass illusion and kill him in the fog was, that's making all the ghosts disappears. And it's like, wow, that's, that's pretty neat. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that there isn't at least like a Gasha Dokuro in Sekiro. You know, the giant skeletons. Yeah, you would think, right? Like that would be the most go-to thing. But they didn't do it as far as I remember and as far as I've seen going through it now, which is I've been over. I'm nearly at the end. I guess because you can't impale them. I guess. Maybe they were just afraid of being compared to the R.A. of Sorrow giant skeleton. Maybe. That, that thing is a top 10 contenders and bosses <laughs> uh, based on memes and memes alone. I feel like if they do a Sekiro 2, we're going to get a giant skeleton. 
I wonder if they can. I wonder if Activision owns that IP. Yeah, I was sitting here and I was like, man, if we get a Sekiro 2 is a sentence I wasn't prepared for. Because I was sitting here and I was like, yeah, they can go yeah. do other stuff now. And it's like, yeah, more more Sekiro. And I'm like, that's literally the last thing I'm thinking of, right? We can uh we can get a uh, we can get a Sekiro 2. It'll be a six out of ten and be on Game Pass. <sighs> I, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, what's next? Eternal Ring 2? They didn't do good. that, did they? No, they didn't. They didn't ever grace to, which right. they didn't call that over here, which is probably smart. I, I as an Evergrace fan, I'm really glad they didn't trick me into renting that from Blockbuster. Right. Did it even come here? I thought it was Europe only or something. No, no, no. Here. It's here. It's okay. just they called it Forever Kingdom. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the name of that. Let me double check. Man, yeah. why why couldn't why couldn't why couldn't they do that with Knack? Just give it a completely different name. I know! A completely different name. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Every day. Every day I think about if only people could have found that game, but they put it in the one spot people would never look. <laughs> it's a fucking end of Indiana Jones there. <laughs> they just hide the fucking good video game in a warehouse where no one will find it. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. I've ranted about Evergrace 2 enough, Bob. <laughs> Do you have anything else to talk about? No, not really. Okay, we're going to end it to KZ. KZ, have you played video game? Uh, I, I have played video game. Um, I did a death stream of Resident Evil 2 Remake uh, again because I got the shakes. Um, and I went through that and that was fine. I don't, I don't really have too much to say about that besides uh, it's, it's still great. Um... I did have some time to try a try a demo for a Kickstarter game, so I checked out Anton Blast this week because they they launched a Kickstarter campaign this week for what is essentially like a spiritual successor to like the Wario Land games, mm -hmm. and it's going for like a Game Boy Advance like visual style for it. And uh, after playing the demo for a bit, I came out like pretty impressed with the whole thing. Like visually, it looks really nice. You're just this big angry red man with a giant hammer and you're just uh running doing like hammer combos running really fast shoulder checking through walls uh you pick up a bunch of like collectible like poker chips and it starts playing like slot machine noises and uh it has this nice gimmick where you'll hit like certain pads as you're going through because it's like a 2d side scrolling platformer mm -hmm. you'll hit certain pads that shoot you into the foreground and then you do uh or shoot into the background and then you'll like do background platforming and stuff and then you'll bounce between uh the background and the foreground and uh overall i thought it was like really solid and then you'll hit the end of the level where you hit a button and they're like everything's gonna explode now make your way back and then you like you do it do it on a timer you got to get to this like specialized door hmm. it's got like secrets and whatnot it's already funded at this point they had like uh, or it's about to be funded they have like a seventy five thousand dollar goal and they're like three thousand off at the time of uh at the time of recording on this but uh yeah overall i was like really impressed as a really nice style to it they they said basically they do uh really really high resolution hand drawn like animation for like all the sprite stuff and then they like manually pixelate that down Mm. So the style ends up uh, looking re really solid. And uh, yeah, I just came out of that one going, yeah, this seems really good. And the they're not asking for too much. So that's that's pretty solid. And if people are interested, they uh, they have their their playable demo over on uh, itch.io. So people will be able to check this out. It is uh, Anton Blast. Uh, but aside from that, I haven't had too much time. So that's the only other thing that I've played this week. Okay. Yeah, that that looks pretty neat. I've actually been sitting here thinking about how I really need to play through like basically all three Mario Land games, especially two uh -huh. and three, not necessarily one. I beat that for the first time like two years ago and then Bob beat it again on analog gaming. That was his first time yeah. beating that, by the way. So that's worth watching for that. As Bob goes, yeah. what what do you mean this is the final boss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must have been so well, close to doing that so many times in my use. <laughs> and you just never thought, this is the end, because that game's really short. Right. That's not even a long analog game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been thinking about how much I need to check out the Wario Land games. So th this actually is channeling that energy really well and has a, it has a pretty good art style. I yeah, there are um, a lot of like mutuals that are, are really into those Wario games going, this is it. They did it. <laughs> They're bringing it back, thank God. 
this texture. It's so perfect. Also, the uh, the general plot of you play as Dynamite Anton as he embarks on a journey through the Backburner Peninsula after his prized spirits are stolen by Satan, which oh, Satan okay. in this is voiced by uh, Twitter funny man Gianni. Ah, uh, okay. Who, who does all those Duke Nukem <laughs> edits. I was hoping they they splurred for Jim Cummings, but I, I understand. <laughs> Look, Bob, not everyone can get Jim Cummings. <laughs> uh, our entire seventy five thousand dollar goal is entirely just going to Jim. <laughs> it's, it's all going to Cat for Cat Talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cat for Cat Talk. Stretch goal. Also, finish your game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, we now go to Feel Feel. Did you play a video game? Uh, I gave Auden Chronicle Rising more of my time. I'm oh, so, no. oh, that's great. so sorry. Uh, it never it never stops. Like, the, the go one screen further, come back, never fucking stops. I gave it like an hour and a half more of time. How? You're so hopeful, too. I, I feel like actually bad. Like, surely it's going to uh, let you play it. Uh, I also learned that uh, well, one of the things is that uh, so the conceit of this game is like there's a big quarry that adventurers go into to get treasure and you're this dumb little girl but there's like an adventurer's fee to get a license and she doesn't have the fucking money so the mayor is like here's a card uh, get enough stamps on this card and you can go into the dungeon and and, and you get like she, they're like okay you have enough you can go in now but but you can get more and you get items like every 10. I thought there was only 30 because like this was supposed to be like a fucking small little intro game. There's a hundred. Whoa. Yeah, because it when you first get that card, it puts it on the top of the screen and there's 30 dots. So you're like, well, surely there are only 30. Oh, that's insane. Why are there a hundred? <laughs> I'm just so, flabbergasted about everything. With this game. I'm like, what? Uh, uh. There's so many quality of life problems that, like, if you had stopped and thought, it wouldn't, it it wouldn't have it. Like, for one, this ha game has a bad map. Um, like, it, it's not like a normal Metroidvania map. It's like this room is a big square, and we have arrows coming out of it, sort of vaguely where where uh, exits to other rooms are. The, the The box on the map is is not indicative of how big this room actually is at all. Oh. Um, there's stuff like you, you can find out what sub quests, what, like what side quests are available from the job board, but you can't pick them up. You have to go find the NPC to talk to them to start the quest. And the board doesn't always tell you where they are. So you have to go through every single screen of this fucking town trying to find them. That's and it, ugh. and it, like, I'm, I'm, I am fucking begging like, if you're going to make a Metroidvania, you need to get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, with all that time you played, did they even introduce the other two playable characters? They introduced one. Oh they introduced one. The other one I did not get yet. Um, and never will, because I'm never not I'm not playing this game anymore. So so it's just like I want to go exp like it's so handholdy. Like it's the most handholdy Metroidvania type game I've ever played. And it do, it does a thing that I fucking despise, where it's like, oh oh, I accidentally re I was exploring, but I uh, the very limited scope of exploring it was letting me do, but I accidentally ran into a cutscene, and after the cutscene, it teleports me into town. <sighs> it did that to me a couple times, and just this game doesn't feel especially good. Its structure is bad. Um, I I thought I thought it was going to be like okay, now just explore. And you can upgrade the facilities in town and stuff. There's all these drops. But seemingly, it's never going to do that. Seemingly, it never gets to that point. It's just this drip feed. And frankly, I I don't like doing... There's way too much dialogue for these bad side quests. Way, 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 way too much. Yeah, I was... It, it, fe it, it feels almost like Genshin Impact-esque. Where it's like, there's three times as much dialogue as there should be for, for what is happening in this scene. And, and, and at least in Genshin Impact, they're trying to be funny, because because most of most of the additional dialogue is your fucking um, your fucking exposition scronko Paimon who's floating around your head, <laughs> commenting on shit because the protagonist is silent. But that's not this in this game. Both both fucking party members talk, so it's just like wow, I I really don't fucking want to play this. Uh, you shouldn't have sold this. Yeah, 
Yeah. yeah this I'd, have been, I'd have been I'd have been I'd have been I'd have been fucking living if I had paid money for this. I I don't understand what motivates them to, to make it like this. Like just just let people explore the dungeon you made. Is that so much to ask? It it it, it honestly gave, like this game is probably wordier than an Inti creates game. You know, I was holding back on making the joke because earlier we were watching the Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 trailer. Uh-huh. And I was like, man, even the trailers can't shut the fuck up. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm directly, compar- I'm directly thinking of, about Blaster Master Zero because that's like a because Blaster Master is vaguely Metroidvania-esque. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that game just lets you go a lot. This game never. This game is like because that because that's my favorite part of Metroidvania is like it, like you guys don't like Hollow Knight but I think I thought that game was great at being like okay I just get to go into this fucking weird dungeon for like several hours and I will never encounter another character I will encounter encounter a lot of bizarre shit yeah right like, but I but I will not get any dialogue and and sometimes that's what you want yeah I think it's a really important feature in Aria of Sorrow that you can hit start and the whole cutscene and every character in it despawns <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> that is an incredibly important feature for multiple playthroughs and other things because sometimes you just you don't you don't want to yeah you see Graham and you're like no you're not worth <laughs> not, it not at all also not today also to be very clear on my stance on Hollow Knight I've never touched it so I don't have an opinion <laughs> this is an intentional decision of my own <laughs> yeah I didn't even have problems with the story aspects of that anyway it was always just I don't like the way this feels yeah that, that that's fair it, it, it it, it has that thing where it's like, you control slightly badly, but by design. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like Thank you, Masahiro you, Sakurai. You, you made some really cool bosses. Why couldn't you give me, like, really tight controls? I don't know. Why can't they port fucking uh, Kid Icarus to anything other than the 3DS? <laughs> Why does Star Fox Zero have to die on the Wii U? <laughs> He's so unrelated, but yeah. I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> uh, he said Masahiro Sakurai, and my brain just started wondering. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just thought of tripping. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, like this is, this is just bad. Like it's not even mid. <laughs> it's bad. I'm gonna like, be I'm honest, thinking, I forgot what game you're even talking about. <laughs> like I'm, I'm thinking of like, no, Valdis Story Abyssal City is better than this. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> You're, you know, I dropped that really quickly too, but I think you're right. Dust and Elysian Tale, that fucking furry one made by one person, is so much better than this. And I think it's a really valid comparison because that also has a town that's like your main hub and you go to other maps that are different biomes and do shit. God. Like they are very similarly structured, actually. And it is so much fucking better than this game. Like you got, you got flossed on by one guy 15 years ago. Well, this is a fucking rush job, you know? It definitely is that. True, true. This is the Happy Meal toy. Yeah. Man. So about the fact it shouldn't be as long as it is and cost as much as it does. Right? It does feel like this should have been a free pack-in for, for back I mean, and stuff. honestly, I'm okay with a smaller game that comes early. I, like, I, hey, Bob. Hey. Uh, controversial thought. You know what I like more than the Phantom Pain? Ground Zeroes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that most people agree with that. I think the the early game that, that is a small thing that is better th- like that's that's a service, right? Yeah. I'm perfectly okay with what is basically a demo but bigger of a game that's bigger and going to come on later. That's so much more valid than I think this with all of its padding. Right, right? And also, it's a completely different genre it, than the It is a completely different genre. But I, I'm okay with the concept of a game as a teaser for a f- bigger game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, like a case zero for... Uh, Dead Rising uh, 2? Dead Rising 2. Oh, case zero. I was like, who's case zero? Isn't that a King of Fighters character they had to rename to not get sued or something? I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I actually love those too. I, lo- I love the uh, Case Zero stuff. That was cool playing through that back in the day. But, uh, but yeah. I also, yeah, so I dropped that. Um, there's a new Genshin Impact event that isn't very notable, but because you're just, you, you make seasonings and then put the seasoning on food and feed it to your characters and they like you more. It's, I do want, and there's like a little mini game related to making it that isn't fair, that isn't worth talking about, but I want to bring it up because half these recipes involve pine cones as an ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're delicious <laughs> in the Genshin universe. 
<laughs> there, and there's also a bunch of actual cooking recipes that involve pine cones, and I'm like, why the fuck is everybody eating pine cones? <laughs> They're a rare delicacy. <laughs> God. At least, at least, at least one of the recipes makes sense because it's the it's the main recipe of like the wolf boy, who was like literally raised by wolves. It's like, well, it makes sense that you would fucking eat pine cones for a dog, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I I also decided it was time to play Star Ocean Two again. Cool. We uh, yeah, getting that f- headache. Funny that you bring that up. Bob and I were also enjoying some Star Ocean 2 oh over God. the last week. The anime week. again? No. Yeah. You were watching the anime again? Yeah! yeah. Eric it appeared, appeared, so we had the to. Don't move. Uh, Eric, uh, yes. Uh, Eric appeared, and he was <laughs> here, and Come on. he pointed out Bob still had his copy, and I was like, what? Why does Bob still have your copy? And he's like, because you fell asleep during the last three episodes, Dan, remember? And you were like, I need to rewatch this at some point so I can really drill in just how insane this ending is. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. We should do that now. And everyone's like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Dan move. So uh, we watched that ending. Man, that ending's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Watching what? Okay, for one, one of the funniest bits over, over years has been pointing out the time that... Uh, <laughs> In a casual conversation about Star Ocean 3, Eric spoiled the ending to Hail Zeon <laughs> and uh, almost did it again with Star Ocean 2 because we were watching the anime to me. And I'm like, me and Bob are like, no, 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 we're going to beat that. <laughs> this is legit on the to-do list. Please don't. We understand you're going insane because this anime is making everything up right now. So, yeah, I think prepping ourselves for that playthrough with the anime is going to be really good. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've been I've been enjoying that. I'm just doing the PS1 version because I made the decision a while back that, like, I won't do the PSP version unless they fucking put it on PS5 or 4, whatever, whatever. If they, they put it on normal platforms again, they, they do like a, a second evolution R the way they did first departure R. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, also, I'm gonna be real. I'm a boomer, and I can't deal with that game being voiced. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it about eight points, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it was already Espe- had some amazing voice clips, but I want more. <laughs> especially yeah. considering that, especially considering the protagonist is now Spike Spencer on Valium. Yes, <laughs> it is Spike Spencer, but he sounds so fucking asleep. He sounds he sounds infinitely less energy than Hannah Taro from Bleach. <laughs> I need this. I don't know what your problem is. Uh, because I'm old and need it to be like it was when I played it when I was 14. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I mean, those voice also, lines are also, incredible. Also, I'm also I'm like the, the whole point of that game is crafting, and they redid the localization, so all everything is called something different. Yeah, oh, that's okay. always rough. Yeah, that's, that's way worse. Yeah, that's really rough to deal with. Uh, still. If you like JRPGs at all, you need to fucking play Star Ocean 2. Yeah. Because it is it is it is insane. You get through the op the intro scene of that, like the intro arc of that game, and start your fucking quest. And it's like there are four towns available. You can go to a town from the end of this section of the game and buy gear immediately. <laughs> you can then go into an optional dungeon from that is 20 levels higher than you, and if you're really careful, can power level. That rules. And then if you know that the skill playfulness gives you an exponentially increasing amount of money when you level it up, it does nothing else. What? <laughs> it, it, it just gives you money. And then you use that money to buy the uh, extremely expensive for early in the game Bandit's Glove, which lets your protagonist use the pickpocket skill if you level the, 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 tr- the uh, things that give you the pickpocket skill. Here's how skills work in Star Ocean 2. You go to a thing called a skill shop and you buy skills and categories. Uh, and then you have skills that you can put points into. Uh, if you level up the right skills, you get an ability. So like cooking is kitchen knife, recipe, good eye. Those are the three skills that let you cook. Now, in addition to, in addition to abilities and skills, there's also traits, which are character to character. So if your character doesn't have the trait dexterity... You can't pickpocket for shit, and you'll never be able to. Which is why it's very important if you're going to play Star Ocean 2 to uh, check immediately as soon as you can control your main character, because there's two you can pick from. You have to check immediately if they have dexterity and if they don't restart. 
because you can pickpocket every single NPC in the game. Wait, what? Just the, the random townspeople folk? Not, yeah. not every, every single one. You can pickpocket shopkeepers. You can pickpocket characters that are on screen for 15 seconds in one scene only. I think as um, podcasters, I'm legally obligated to, before I say this, tell everyone, if you're not sitting, sit. Bum. Yeah. I believe that makes Star Ocean 2 an immersive sim. <laughs> Oh, you, you'd be right. About immersive sim. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's fucking damn. That shit uh, rules, though. Pickpocketing every so, one of the games hilarious and rules. Uh, Star Ocean as a franchise, not just Star Ocean Two, also has a thing called private actions, which means you get near a town on the world map and hit the square button. Yeah, and then you get a little scene of all your party members going, "Let's split up and hang out in town by ourselves for a while." And you can and you can get like persona esque scenes with them that change like the hidden uh, friendship and romantic values between characters that affect the endings. But you can also pickpocket them <laughs> in every single town. Uh, some of them, and and Star Ocean is also a crazy game where uh, you can have at max twelve party members. There's like sixteen characters in this game, and many of them are exclusive to each other. So if you recruit this person, you can't recruit that person. Uh, so anyway, on to the po one of the things about Star Ocean that sounds made up, Star Ocean 2 that sounds made up is so the first thing you do before you progress hardly at all, you you fuck you level up uh okay, here here's a Star Ocean 2 tip. If your protagonist, if any of your characters don't have sense of taste as a trait, have them cook a bunch using the cheapest item. They'll fail over and over, but eventually they'll unlock that trait cuz characters can unlock traits if they don't have them. But dexterity is very hard to get. That's why it's the one you have to restart for. It's also expensive to do the to do the item creation that gives you dexterity. But it's very cheap to do cooking. When you unlock a trait, you get 100 skill points for free. So the strat is cook until you get that bonus, then dump those points into playfulness to get the money. <laughs> then you go buy the bandit's glove. Then... When you go to the port town of Click or Curric in uh, the PSP version, do a private action, save, save first, of course, do a private action, and then in the center of town, there is a prophet declaring doom on the town. You get a little scene of them. Pickpocket them. You get an accessory called Curiosity, I think is what it's called. You put that on your main character, and now every five to ten steps, you get a random item. <laughs> and the po and the pool of random items can have unbelievably good shit in it. You you can get this within the first like three hours of the game. <laughs> yeah, this game is insane. Yeah, I love it a <laughs> lot. And and, th and that's not even getting into the part where uh, to make Claude's ultimate weapon, the Eternal Sphere. <laughs> Why do you say his uh, name so weird, Bob? I thought it was Claude. <laughs> Claude. <laughs> Anime. You, you got it. <laughs> anyway, you you get this uh, to to make his sword. You have to. Ref There's a thing called refine. It's a skill you can get where it's like you pick a metal and a weapon, and that character like improves it. Mm -hmm. So you get a you get a unique sword from a plot event. It's not it's not that great for when you get it, but if you refine it with mithril twice, it becomes his best weapon. Normally, you can't get mithril until disc two. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> However, there is a skill, I forget what it's called, but it's in the same skill set skill set as p playfulness, where leveling it gives you a random item from a pool, and one of the items in that pool is mithril. So then you just run so around you, in circles. So you load up on skill points, save, dump them into that skill. Did you get two mithril? If you didn't, reload and try again, and then you save scum refining it until you have the protagonist's best weapon in the middle of disc one. God, it, it's I, insane. The it's insane how you can just be like, I went in this one direction, and now the enemies are fifteen levels higher, and I can power level unbelievably hard. I I always like this because I feel like we've had like four or five big things where Feel has given an anecdote on Star Ocean Two, and it's different every time. Yeah, there's there's so much there's so that's much what? crazy shit in this game. God, uh, but that's all I played. <laughs> I, I I got I got I got the accessory that uh. That lets me that gives me random shit. Um, so I'll report back if I break the game in any other ways that I forgot. <laughs> also, also, boy, it, it's fun to go back to these games and be like, no, this game will kick your ass if you're not careful. 
I got game overed by like the second boss because it's like, oh, I forgot they get on both sides of you and rapidly stun lock you to death. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> they're they're on some serious shit not translating the PS4 version. What the hell's wrong well, with them? The the PS4 version is just the PSP version. It doesn't have the updated art like like first departure R does. I I am praying to God that during during the summer of games. <laughs> <laughs> they announce or even shadow drop like second evolution R because start like like six is coming out. Fucking let people play the one the entire fan base agrees is the best one. And the one, fucking moron. And the one that they're referencing hardcore in the new one. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is wrong it, with it, them? I I know you're releasing 85 games this year, but make it 86. Yeah, pretend pretend Babylon's Fall and Chocobo GP don't exist because they basically don't. <laughs> Not anymore, and they barely yep. did at any point. Yep, man, it's weird looking back at those PSP games and being like, "Wow, they actually you took this game that had an already good art style and made it look better in some ways," and then seeing stuff like, "Oh yeah, you did a new Valkyrie profile, you made it look hideous." <laughs> God, <laughs> it just hurts. <laughs> What's wrong with that face? <sighs> Bees. <laughs> She was stuck by <laughs> bees. Oh no! I I think uh, the main character of Star Ocean Six still looks a little bit weird in game. Oh yeah, the art's fine. Yeah, but, yeah. But the... Like every all three D Star Ocean games have characters with weird faces. Like like we did that episode. What is wrong? The problem with Dry yeah. protagonist faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, universal yeah. across all their three D games. It's strange. <laughs> it is strange and awful. Uh, but yeah, that's all I played. Oh okay. Then I guess we got to talk about. No pod lords. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Funny. Yes, that's right. The pod lords. Pod lords such as E. Lee Broyles. Corey Brown. Whoa. Ella Bits be upon ye. Red Blaze 27. Billionaire genius. Juice of Frost. Holy shit. You have a billion dollars? Wow. Is it a real billion dollars or Elon Musk a billion dollars? Uh oh. Suzushiro, Emperor Zero, Shibu Yagato, KZ, when you couldn't handle that Kirby Super Boss, they them put the C on stream. <sighs> Rado, 101 Shades of Wonderful, remastered. WTF, Spider Man, Mr. I Like Spam. Here comes Activision Blizzard PR releasing a eugenics chart. It's a bold strategy, Con. Let's see how it pays off for them. <sighs> Very oh. interesting. <laughs> DFW 3K. Got me a rope saw. No way this can end poorly. <laughs> <laughs> rope saws are cool. Will here to kill the inferior wife. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Wally. Are you prepared for the death you were the widow man? <laughs> oh god, does he have fucking mega galley? He does! Yes. It rules. That's kinda scary. Uh, they but they buff the hell out of his final fight and then give him like that Chad music. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Uh, like I, I as someone who likes Gen 3 a lot, I popped up pretty hard at them just going, sure, you can have it all. It's really good because it comes right after the moment of your supposed main rival going, uh, I suck. You win. <laughs> and just leave it. Get fucked. What was he, Brendan? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't. I wasn't ready for how pathetic Brendan was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so bad. See, they took the syringe and they sucked all the pathetic out of Wally towards the end <laughs> and then put it into Brendan. <laughs> Kristen. Oh, this Tonberry thinks you look kind of lonely. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? It's oh, oh it's, it's, it's a Blade Runner. Oh. See, oh, this is a giant Tonberry woman. Yeah, oh. yeah, because it's gonna be it's gonna be Ryan Gosling making the fucking face. Yeah. Rido Kuzanoha and Nocturne Figma pre-order waiting room. Him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's great. 
Kyle Bjork. Working so hard, I can't think of ways to jumble Oh Fuck the Podlords this week. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Or won't. You know, you could try you could try spelling different sentences with all the same letters. <laughs> Maddie Mo B N twelve. Iron Agro. Blig de blue. She like the boom. Oh. Oh. You don't play MMOs? Pity. I guess you won't experience the best villain in all of Final Fantasy then. Shame that. His haircut's real tragic. Monster Hunter, Ryzen and Raiden. Well, he certainly won't solve the phrenology issue, but at least he'll help the unions. <laughs> Jordan. Diversity wins. The employee curb stopping this red acted executive's teeth out scored all sevens on their chart. <laughs> one week and we have one week. Absolutely not. Shit shitting in their pan. I know. Right? I, I hate this because they seem to just want to drop it on Fridays now. <laughs> Fuck you, Inafune. This is the only ape pick I need. Sam. Wake up, babe. New Virgil just dropped. <laughs> AG's bird facts. And here we have the traditional twig exchange ritual between herons. Very not subtle, Mother Nature. Go. Still waiting on that YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Your power level may be big, Goku, but like my hunger, it's maximum. See, I needed a second comma there mm. because it's Shaggy talking because he, he, he does the but like, you know. Yeah, right. And that, that's what your you need. power level may be big, Goku, but like my hunger is maximum. See, man. that's why that second comma is important. Right. It's like. And it's a stand right in the middle. <laughs> he's gonna put Goku in the coffin and be like, I'm glad that he's in there and we're out there and he's <laughs> there sheriff. and we're out here. He's a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> and we're the sheriff. Writing advice. Internal consistency and believability can be better than realism. Y yeah, Aaron Sorkin has a job, yeah. Brandon Hanabarger. Mitzi. Indigo Sykes. <laughs> Tip generously. <laughs> oh, no! God, what a nightmare. Spy family. <laughs> Come on! No. <laughs> oh my god. Bob, did you know third gen's almost over? <laughs> Thank god. <laughs> this is one week of Galades. Or sorry, Gardevoirs. Yeah, Galades next week. <laughs> or next next week. A raccoon thanking Bob and Tosh for all the Poke Mondays art. <laughs> what an adorable raccoon. You're welcome, raccoon. Yeah. Raccoon. Coming up with fun he bits is hard, he ho. It's not like work has been rough with my 12 hour shifts combined with family troubles. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you can tell they're pissed. They're Black Frost now. <laughs> yeah, they look kind of, they look kind of vaguely like Koopa-esque. <laughs> so... Still asking. Do you know where the Supreme Court justices sleep at night? Asking for a friend. The, we've had <laughs> enough do, whitest kids you know. I, like, it's like I, can only I get that show is funny, but... <laughs> this entirely fake thing that was said by no real person, seriously. Felonious Bolus, and unfortunately, I'm not reposting the image, so I'm the only one who has to look at this fucker. Look at Felonious Bolus. Verm Varm. Crime in Gotham skyrockets as the Batman disappears for several days. No one can ascertain the reason. <laughs> Your total is twelve ninety. Please pull up to the first window. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's the reverse of what you talked about. I know. It's so good. <laughs> Ichigo <laughs> defeats Jinkaria by throwing a fucking job application at him. <laughs> Peppa Pigza. Oh. God damn it. No. As I was saying earlier, sometimes you can expect the trajectories Podlords coming at. 
Other times it's this. Happy birthday, Fitz. Good job. Happy birthday, Fitz. E. Um, the Super Mim. Lane's World 25. How about six Mewtwo's? <laughs> I like the Mew that has a two written on it. It's <laughs> really good. Sarlene. The sharpest pinecone has returned. And Pleochrome. Thank you very much to our pod lords. Thanks. Thank you, pod lords. Thank you, pod, pod lords. And if you'd like to become a pod lord, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com. For as little as $5 a month, you get access to many benefits, such as early access to Chugging Bleach, our Bleach Review podcast, where we review all of Bleach, including every terrible Bleach movie, and the Bount Arc. We just finished with that one. Uh, if you want to experience the Bount Arc without without watching it, which is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I I can't say that it's that much shorter than actually watching it, sadly, because we go on, but it's still better. Um, yeah. Uh, extended armchair dev pitches and gamer permission premonitions with the format of those shows force us to leave ideas on the cutting room floor and in, ex in a patron exclusive show, one per month, where you get to vote on what good or bad thing we have to watch and then talk about. That's patreon.com slash GB podcast. Uh, and if you don't have any money, you can always help us by telling your friends. And if you don't have any friends... Uh, you can get a job as a producer at the CW and greenlight shit like this atrocious looking Gotham Knights show. They literally just popped up on, on my Twitter feed that they just greenlit right now. Oh, no. <laughs> which, what, what I, which I am going no. which I am going to inflict the uh, picture on my co-hosts literally right this second. God. I guess we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that is that is pretty dire. So this is, is that supposed to be that like the Joker's daughter on the right? Because there's like a character named Joker's daughter in DC, and she's wearing green, purple, and green. I don't. I, or, is, or is she supposed to be like an older version of the child Poison Ivy in the fucking uh, Gotham show? Uh, I don't know, and frankly, I don't want to. It's it's really funny because they canceled like every single CW show that wasn't The Flash because that's ending like last week. They canceled like they eight or nine things. They canceled Riverdale. That's fucked up. Uh, that's patreon.com slash GB podcast. Yeah, patreon.com slash GB podcast. Time for news. Uh, we're going to bust through this PlayStation thing real quick. KZ, are you okay with me rush reading this? Okay. Okay, uh, cool. Okay, you so, steal all my grand, my grand work. I, I mean, I'm just reading from the blog so it could go fast. Um, okay. Uh, they added the two tiers. They're, they detailed it, but they said they didn't detail it completely. They gave us enough details to be upset at a lack of details. But they <laughs> yeah, said more details doing doing this, to come. this podcast would fucking whoever is, <laughs> whoever is it, whoever at fucking PlayStation is in charge of messaging needs to fucking go. Yes. They are good. terrible at their fucking job. Every single thing... Sony has announced in like the past two years has had this fucking fog of mystery around it because you're fucking bad at messaging. Yeah, no, they absolutely need to be fired. We're in hell. It's going to launch and and we're like, man, this lineup still isn't that great. And they're like, we haven't launched yet. I'm like, fuck you. How long can we do this? Wait, I'm paying you. What do you mean you haven't launched? <laughs> uh... I'm going to bust through the PS4, PS5 game thing and then say the thing everyone's saying, which is just the truth. Here we go. PlayStation Studios list of games on those tiers that have that shit. Alienation, Bloodborne, Concrete Genie, Days Gone, Dead Nation, Apocalypse Edition, Death Stranding, and Death Stranding Director's Cut, Demon's Souls, Destruction, All-Stars, Everybody's Golf, Ghost of Sushi, uh, Director's Cut, God of War, Gravity Rush 2, Gravity Rush Remastered, Here Horizon Zero Dawn, Infamous First Light, Infamous Second Son, Infamous Third Dinner, Knack, Little Big Planet 3, Loco Roco Remastered, Loco Loco Roco 2 Remastered, Marvel Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Matterfall Medieval, Patapon Remastered, Patapon Re 2 Remastered, Rezogun Returnal, Shadow of the Colossus, Tearaway Unfolded, uh, The Last Guardian, The Last of Us Remastered, The Last of Us Left Behind, The Last of Us, Who Cares, Until Dawn, Uncharted, The Nathan <laughs> Drake Collection. Oh, I didn't really. Uh, Uncharted 4, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, Wipeout Omega Collection. That's all the PlayStation Studio stuff. Let me tell you that them doing so many sequels made reading that hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the, the third dinner? Like, what the fuck <laughs> I just started inserting things. Anyways, that, uh, 
I, I literally every person on planet Earth has said this already, but it definitely bears repeating. The only way you could suss out the value of this subscription from this list is because you've played all these games already <laughs> and don't care. It's just like, yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, it, it's a thing where you're like, man, I know a lot of these are great. This is a great value for people uh, that aren't me because I own all of these. Yeah, and it's Who not. Who don't all own all of those and don't own a PS5 because a lot of those are free on the PS5 thing. Yes. Which might disappear. Who, who could they imagine? Better no, fucking not. No way. <laughs> Sony would never that stop. That would be really fucking stupid. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So maybe it might. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think uh, they like, made a statement saying they weren't going to oh, remove the <laughs> PS Plus collection if you're specifically talking about that one. Uh, oh, thank God. That, yes. Uh, let me read the third party ones. Third party partners for PS4, PS5 is Ashen, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Batman, Arkham Knight, Celeste, City Skyline, Control, Ultimate Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Cells, Far Cry 3 Remaster, Far Cry 4, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition, For Honor, Hollow Knight, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Mortal Kombat 11, Naruto Shippuden, all one word, by the way. Naruto Shippuden. Yes. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, NBA 2K22, Outer Wilds, Red Dead Redemption 2, Resident Evil. Just Resident Evil. Not two remake, not three make, just Resident Evil. Soul Calibur 6, South Park of the Fractured Butthole, The Artful Escape, and The Crew 2. Oh, wait, and Tom Clancy's The Division. So that's for that middle tier where it's between, if I remember correctly, normal PlayStation Plus and Ultimate version. Yeah, the extra. Yeah, I think it's extras. That's the one. Yes. Yes, PlayStation Plus extra. Um, yeah, got nothing to say. Now the more interesting part of this fucking news. <laughs> okay. The ultimate shit. Classic games catalog. We have PlayStation Studios. Remember, this is their PS1 and PSP back and pat. We got Ape Escape, Hot Shots Golf, Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Siphon Filter, Super Stardust Portable. And then third party partners, Mr. Driller Tekken 2, Worms World Party, Worms Artageddon. There's one PSP game in that list. <laughs> yeah that's so bad guys we've never had a way to play PSP on console why do you think that you as a huge housemark fan Super Stardust Portable is possibly the most fungible title they've ever made because it is just a a jank version of the real thing you want like that's not Stardust on PS3 that's not Super Stardust HD that's the PSP version of that then we get into what they call classic games catalog hyphen remasters. This this terminology they use is so complicated and it doesn't need to be. They could just say what system it was originally for. Ape Escape 2, the thing that currently doesn't work on PS5. Arc, yes. the, Arc the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits, Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud 2, Fantavision, Hot Shots Tennis, Jack 2, Jack 3, Jack X, Jack 1. Uh, remember, most of those do not run right. On the PS5, only Jack X is an, a solid improvement. Uh, Rogue Galaxy, Siren, and Wild Arms 3. And then third-party partners, and this is truly the stroke-inducing thing. See how everything I just said is a PS2 game? Yeah. Bioshock Remastered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Bullet what? Storm Full Clip Edition. Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. In Lego Harry Potter collection. None of those are PS2! Why is it in the same list? Well, they're remastered. What? <laughs> yeah, they weren't even originally PS2 games. Right? No. And that's the thing that's driving me insane. It's like, in no world should your press release group together all these PS2 games, and then when you go to third party, be like, here are these PS3 games that got ported to the PS4. We're going to group those with PS2. Like, what are you yeah, doing? Don't... Making sure to confuse people. Yeah. <sighs> see, see, here's what I do. They have classic games, remasters. They've locked it to that tier and hope you don't scroll up and remember, but but your PS4 or 5 game catalog has remasters. <laughs> yeah. And even more bizarre, there was Loco Roco up there, which is a PSP game ported to the PS4. There are more there are more PSP games up in, yeah. up in the PS4, PS5 catalog than there are in the in the classic sets, it's it's especially like obviously embarrassing that they're not giving you the full list when they rated all four siphon filter games. Yeah, and there's only one. <laughs> but there's one. only one in this list. Yeah. 
and then there's uh, the streaming stuff, which we're not going to talk about because streaming isn't real. Yeah, <laughs> like this isn't Thank even you. just a uh, as as a as a as a moral uh, stand. So I'm against streaming. It's like no one uses it. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? It's got PS3 games. That's all it. Like it's it's still trapped in the streaming dimension. Uh, they did announce with this though. Um, the schedule at which they'll be updating these games. They're going to keep the PlayStation Plus essential tier to the beginning of a month, and then halfway through the month, they're going to do the extra in premium version stuff. The uh, wow, that's um, that that's better than Nintendo's cadence of every six months. Yeah, they have an actual cadence to the shit, which is you know important <laughs> right so people don't yeah. go nintendo fan insane <laughs> they're like i'm sorry guys but i really i really love the to play enslaved on streaming yeah that's what uh. everyone's waiting for uh on top of all these other announcements the last thing worth noting is they announced the six games that will have time limited game trials now one what I just said is like the news. I think <laughs> that it's only six. They made it sound like a massive initiative going forward. Everything has to be this. And it's like, but you only had six things ready at launch. I feel like more games shipped in the time frame that should have what, gotten what that. Need, what, needs, what needs to be really addressed here is six. Only two of them are from them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gran Turismo 7 does not get a trial. What? <laughs> now here's the weird thing they actually fixed something that most humans would never know about okay they fixed a thing where before when they had these timed trial things on playstation they counted the amount of time it took you to download <laughs> god that's so insane <laughs> so it's fixed now it's when you boot it so at least they fixed that because dude it is gonna take a little while for me to download the legacy of thieves collection I don't think I'm going to be able to boot that in under two hours. But yeah, it's so bizarre. But uh, here are the games for those. I don't actually care. But Horizon Forbidden West, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. Then you go third party for Farming Simulator 22. What? Cyberpunk 2077, Tina, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and WWE 2K22. What an insane update! Half of it's just shit 2K put out two months ago. Yeah. I Yeah, we also found out that thing of a PSP and PS1 games are gonna have save states. Yes, and potentially so run better. certain ones. Yeah. S they say certain PS1 and PSP games will have enhanced resolution, better frame rates, and save states, and also they say that some will have trophies. Yeah, this this is all incredibly bizarre. In fact, uh, what was it? Sony Bend tweeted out that whole, "Hey, we had trophies to siphon filter." And it's so funny because this is this is the way I took this. It's not the way they intended. They just tweeted a video of the trophy popping in the name, not even gameplay footage. And I'm like, they know their game so bad that they have a better chance marketing. Hey, we have trophies over here than showing the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't they don't show any. <laughs> I don't know what Cypher Filter looks like still. I, I, <laughs> they're, they're hoping for that. You know, and I, I'm going to continue I, to try and keep that up. I, I'm more thinking that the, there's some weird policy at Sony where they cannot show what these games look like on their oh, yeah, emulator. One, oh, yeah, 100%. Which is insane. Oh, yeah, it we're, sucks. We're it's less terrible. than a month out. I want to know of what your game looks is, like. This is the most cool like, rollout I've seen in a while. I, I want to know how this shit runs because at the one uh I, did we bring up how they said if you if you own this shit on ps3 you you can get it yeah they actually they actually did say that and thank god i had okay does no this mean uh, does, me neither. does this All mean new. does yeah. this mean other shit you does this mean you'll be able to just buy them on the ps5 now does this mean they're because that thing happened a while back where shit popped up on the ps5 store ps4 slash ps5 store who knows does, like that'd be smart. You'd make more money. They, There's people who aren't interested in this fucking subscription service and will not, under any circumstances, give you money for it, but will give you a hundred bucks for PS1 games or whatever. I would like to think, and this is of course romantic to to think of them this way, and, and, and pretty largely detached from fucking reality. I would like to think of all people who should understand the concept of I want to pay you money for this game that begins and ends, and that is the full transaction. 
it should be Sony, the people who put out a billion single player games that were expensive as hell last gen. But maybe something and, and broke still in their brain. Doing that. Yes. But maybe something broke in their brain and they just, they're like, well, no, if you can buy it, then they won't sign up for $120 I, a year. I, I'm inclined to believe that it won't be the case because they did some fucking update to the PS3 to make it harder to buy things on the PS3. Yes, they did. Not, not jazzed about that. Which reads to me like, no, no, we have to let them do it because people will get mad, but make it really fucking hard. Yeah, make it downright fucking annoying. Yeah, where, where there's that whole thing about if you own it on the PS3 that works on here, I want to believe that that means going forward, you'll just be able to buy this stuff, but who knows? Yeah, I would like to believe that too, but th I don't trust Sony. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they've Can, shown themselves like, to be they're, they're insane. Just, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're less than a month out and there's so many questions. Will this shit run right at all? Are you fixing the PS2 shit on PS4 that is still fucked on PS5? Will you be able to buy any of this stuff? Uh, Will you be able to buy stuff that is... Will you be able to run games that aren't on this subscription service yet, but you already bought on the PS3? That one is probably no chance of. But it's still it's still a question that obviously follows from what they told us, because their terrible fucking messaging won't tell us a full anything. The funny thing yeah. is, do you, they would have such a gold rush if they just said, yeah, all the PS1 games play on PS5, but they might not have trophies. They would get... They would absolutely get people throwing hundreds of dollars in their face just buying the entire ps1 catalog uh there's so many if it was like this shit runs right if this shit runs right on ps5 and i'd be like i i'm going to go buy so many psp and ps1 games yeah uh, i drop like 150 dollars without even thinking about it so so what we're saying is there's no way that's happening <laughs> <laughs> that would too, too immediately it, see money. It, so it makes, obviously, too, it, it, it makes too much fucking sense. <laughs> it, it seems yeah. to be. It seems to be that Silicon Valley's new idea to making money is to not sell things, uh, sell a subscription service, and 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 then go bankrupt in five years. But see, Sony's brilliant. Okay, a lot of people aren't brave enough to point out how smart Sony is about this. Microsoft had to convince publishers to give them games to put on their service at really low rates eventually so, so Game Pass works. Sony said, what if we provide dick all for value and still charge $120 a year? They're very smart. <laughs> You don't need yeah, these don't, seventy dollar games day one. You, you need this PS one game we released on the PS three in two thousand eight, <laughs> and you need it twelve months from now. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling to understand why there's such a lack of information on a service that is launching in some territories on Tuesday. Because they're insane. They're because because like in Asian markets, it's just coming out on the twenty fourth. I'm like, come on. Yeah, we'll, we'll know like, about it from that more than we will from Sony. Yeah, I know, which that's is what's going to be the worst. I'm like, this is, you're treating this like the launch of some niche Japanese game that I'm just going to learn about through through broken translation. Yeah, it's like going back in time. We're going to learn about this shit from people who are putting up videos of their experience. Oh, man. Hey, Bob, we should probably get some uh, J Asian market playstation plus cards oh you're probably right yeah and get some playstation bucks into our japanese accounts probably should do that uh, uh, also for the uh, 24th one it's asian territories that are not japan yeah yeah so yeah so maybe hong kong maybe probably yeah yeah did not did not want to trap anyone who might preemptively buy japanese credit to I don't know, play a PlayStation 1 game early and then they trap the, the, This sounds to me like this shit is not going to work at all when they launch it in those territories. Why does it go to this part of the store and it goes to a web page? <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like no! a PS3 web page. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Why Why am I opening up a browser? Now, wait, wait, wait a second. I seem to be in a multiplayer lobby for <laughs> Resistance 1. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man this is, every time i try to load a game on this special service it makes a scary noise you know uh that was a really that was a lot of uh talking but i feel like that was low information like low density information right we need very dense information. We need to jam pack our faces with important gaming news. Bob, oh, fuck off. Can you take us to the 505 Games Showcase? You know it. <laughs> and shoot me in the fucking head. <laughs>
I watched this. Did anyone else? I did. Yes. I did. I, I, I watched it with the volume set to low. So your fucking first note here, I didn't even notice. Yeah. The, the, so, the, Bob, <laughs> what's up? Bob, here's how, here's how I experienced it. I saw it was happening. Three tweets down on the announcement was someone who leaked everything that was shown, which made my experience worse. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's impossible. I, I, I'm sorry. I simply would. Not, I would simply <laughs> not like, perceive here's the fuck this, this. Just because. Oh, this is how it goes, huh? So, Bob, what is it? Um, well, first of all, the presenter comes out and he frequently breathes very deeply and heavily, and the mic picks him up perfectly. So you often just hear. <gasps> I, in the middle of his speech. <laughs> yes, that is so so true. I had the phone I had set to turn to, it down. I had the phone set to one pip of volume. I didn't even notice. That's yeah, hilarious. It's like, what? How did this happen? <laughs> uh, then, There's a second mic inside his throat. They roll out out their first big game. Among the trolls is a CG trailer that's bafflingly nothing. It's like walking down a, a small pass in the woods. <laughs> And then that fades in the title. That's and just, it. And just to be clear, this isn't an animated thing walking. It is the camera moving down a forest trail. Yes. <laughs> That's it. It is. It was pre-rendered at 30 frames per second, plays back at 24. Terrible. I was like, oh, no, this set the tone. <laughs> then it goes to a it's developer so interview. The last 15 minutes, and the, literally, the guy is say, describing the most basic survival slash uh, crafting mechanics you've ever heard of and that there will be folklore. And that's it. Bob, at one point he <laughs> says you will need a CPU and a GPU. <laughs> what is this, 1994? I, I don't... I don't know. It was an insane moment. Yeah, yeah. It, it keeps going. This guy has really rough English. Um, It's a mess. I don't know why they were okay with putting this on anything. Uh, it's coming to early access sometime. We didn't even get a year. <laughs> cool. Then they move on to Stray Blade. <laughs> this is an adventure game where you play as an alchemist or something from another world. Um, trapped in a fantasy world uh, with a little furry pal. And it, it it's like a really, really bad looking action game. <laughs> yeah, it looks oh, like it somebody wanted to make the most jank like free-to-play MMO action game from 2000s that was inspired by Dark Souls? Yes, it does have that, like, oh, you you have a little bit of that inspiration, but also... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh. So that's coming out next yeah, they year. Kept, <laughs> they kept showing, like, the, the takedown animations that you would get when you, like, repost or, like, backstab someone in a Souls game, but these are the worst animations I've ever seen. <laughs> so when they're like, PS5 Series X, I'm like, for what? <laughs> yeah. And then they have a section on Euden Chronicles. Wait for it. <laughs> the game that the game that's out. Rising. Yeah, the game yeah. that released that Feel and me have been talking about for two weeks. <laughs> the best part is <laughs> you, they you keep... mean the game that Feel just talked about her lyrics saying that I'm dropping. I've never playing this fucking shit again. The 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 funniest part is they keep saying as though it hasn't come out yet. Did you notice that? Yeah, yeah. How's that tone? They just keep saying that shit over and over. They're just like, so when that comes out, and I'm like, it is out. It has been out. We talked about it last week. Man, it's, it's that segment was so boring too. Oh my god, it's a weird thing where it tries to explain the mechanics of how this, the town building works, and it's like, dude, what? It's, it's almost like a strategy guide video. <laughs> I, I I got so confused. I'm like. Do you guys know how to make a presentation when it just kind of opens with them on the menu getting ready to load save files? Um, and also we, during that, we find out that it was developed by Natsume Atari. I didn't um, know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Huh. Yeah, so I, it, which is really weird because previously all the, the developers were always listed as Baron whatever, the, the guys making the real one. Uh huh. So it's interesting to see those guys literally saying, no, it's made by this Kaiser company. <laughs> yeah, like, that seems like the last place they would unmask about that is the middle of a press thing. Right. <laughs> Just being like, it's them. And it's like, you didn't even admit that when I bought the game. <laughs> <laughs> and then they act like the presentation's over, the conference is over, but they have one more thing and it's really big. I was, I was like, oh God, what do you mean one more thing? I've seen the rest of this. No, you don't. <laughs> Turn off the stream. <laughs> yeah, right? I you didn't have anything. <laughs> it really sucks because the beginning of this talks about, oh, yeah, we brought, we published Death Stranding on PC. Oh, they, we brought over Bloodstained. We did all this. They go, we have the highest Metacritic rating of any publisher. 
like the highest like metric average you got Death stranding and i was like well yeah but it's for control and death stranding you didn't fucking make those games right <laughs> but their, their last fucking game. scavenger <laughs> scavenger boasts about all the fucking shit they have fuck off <laughs> look all the shit look all the stuff i i just stole. that's that's a really cool meme twitter account you run <laughs> Oh You're a very God. funny guy. I bet you get a lot of dates. Anyways, Bob, what's up? <laughs> the final game, <laughs> My Asthma Chronicles. It's another CG trailer. Um, I, some dude is using a special glove to open a portal, but then the glove doesn't work and catches on fire, and his brother, that's a robot, pushed out the fire. And he's like, oh no. And then, I have no idea what this game is. <laughs> Uh, it's Full Metal <laughs> Alchemist. Was that not obvious? <laughs> Other than that! They even say, I'm trying to get mom back from the brink. <sighs> and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding. You gotta be fucking kidding. That's insane! <laughs> I will never hear about this game again. <laughs> if we're lucky. Yeah, I don't know, KZ. Are, are you gonna watch any of the summer gaming? I feel like <laughs> you're gonna see this. <laughs> uh... uh... <laughs> I don't want to fucking think about the cover game. <laughs> I don't want to think about it at all. And that was it. That was the, uh, the amazing great. 505 Games Showcase. <laughs> Fuck them. Worst game showcase I've ever seen since I met Dan and Bob. That was pretty fucking bad. That was... This is why, if you go back, this is retroactively exactly what we were planning for when we give the PC gaming show a higher score. <laughs> yeah, I... It was so frustrating because this, I was trying to go to sleep. I couldn't that night. Same. We're and, in the same boat. And then I just see the tweet of, it starts in 15 minutes. I was like, well, I'm already up. I might as well get out of bed and go watch this. Oh, you watched it on your fucking, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to write notes for this, for this section we're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, but see, Bob, here's I, the thing. I literally came in here. I'm like, I don't know. And I'm like, of course, Bob's already in here. Bob doesn't sleep. Bob, what if, what if you just listened to it on some AirPods or something and he was like, we have some games. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist is a cool anime. <laughs> man, man, how do you do a perfect impression of the main guy? <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> for, our, for our next 505 Games Showcase, we got Bane <laughs> to be the... <laughs> Present, I, I can't. I made me keep thinking of that Imagine Dragons song where he does the big inhale. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's like, please just bust into the song already. Yes. I'm so tired of listening to you breathe. Uh, one thing I wanted to note about this that was very funny and I think got funnier as time went on uh, was this scrimblow that's on the stray blade thing. <laughs> Because I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, the entire chat kept saying Bio Mutant 2. It does totally look like that. It definitely has that look. But I just, I watched the trailer for Stray Blade, and I didn't come out of that thinking this would be on the cover, which is why I'm nominating this to be in the fucking thumbnail for this week. All right. Okay, let me look at this. Yeah, give me one sec. I'm posting it. My, my edit's not done. I've been idly editing the transparency out the whole time. <laughs> We've been talking about this fucking conference. Just, oh, what what okay. is his well, deal? I, well, I appreciate your hard work. I just... I don't know. He's why? a little weirdo. Why is he front and center? The game... Whatever. Anyway, put that puff back on. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's let's up? Let's go to your other fucking news. Sure. Uh, there's a rumor going around that Gears of War is going to get a big collection like the uh, Master Chief Collection. We're going to see remasters oh, of each of those. Is, why? Is that what that meant? See, people just said that Gears of War was going to get the Master Chief Collection uh, treatment. <laughs> and I go, oh, cool. They're going to ship a game. And then eight <laughs> studios will it. fix it over this next seven years. <laughs> All right. But no, well, this is what they meant. Let's go. Finally, a new era for Xbox. Um, <laughs> that, are that, it, all of these... 4K on Game Pass already? Yes. One, yes. Two, first one's already remastered, too. Yes. But what? No, that, what but is, that totally fits the one Halo thing. thing. Because Halo did like one, and then they're like, now the Master Chief Collect where we do the rest. But um, but the rest weren't already on the platform. Yeah. The, the value there was supposed to be, oh, I can finally play these games. But I saw someone pointing out, Alex Batalier on Twitter. Uh, was saying two and three don't have a proper PC release. That is true. So this would so be the chance for that. This is a sick one I, for PC. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That, but that's th literally th it, this though. sound. This, 
This sounds like to me all our shit got pushed back. We need anything. Oh yeah, that's one hundred percent what this is, which is well, true. Yeah, they currently have nothing. Wait, have- this is literally more nothing, but <laughs> but it but it, <laughs> but it looks like but something. We can pretend it's not nothing is the truth. Right. We can put it out there as a conference thing. It's coming to PC, yeah. which um. People really would have liked a long time ago Mm -hmm. and will still appreciate to some extent, but that really doesn't help anyone with an Xbox who could already fucking play these games. Yeah, I have to wonder what kind of if they're even going to add anything to two and three because I I, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. But this really makes our uh, Gears of War month kind of confused. Whatever. We don't need to honor this. (laughs) We could just do what they've already released. (laughs) I mean, I mean, on on Series X, I cannot imagine it being even the slightest bit different. I bet they'll add some features that somehow make it worse visually. But <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> not, pro- not 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 even like the faintest QOL improvements. Just no, they'll make it worse. They'll just make some sort of graphical update that'll be like now it has really bad looking temporal anti aliasing, and I'll be like, thanks. No, I assume they'll redo no. some various models, and they'll just won't look like the old style at all, and it'll be bad. Ooh, you talking a GTA treatment? Yeah, we gonna get typos. <laughs> and we'll get uh, the lighting is gonna look so good. <laughs> it's gonna rain, and we're all gonna die. Because <laughs> it's just gonna pierce everything. <laughs> oh, just like GTA. God, I, I'm just thinking the other, the Halo One Two remasters, which look worse in various ways. <laughs> yeah, they do. Thanks, Bungie or uh, Gearbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking thank you, Bungie, for escaping. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad I didn't have to cover. So Microsoft succeeded in buying Bungie <laughs> this year on big thing. Oh. <laughs> that's the <sighs> one thing I'm thankful for. <laughs> Mm. All right, let me see what else I got here. Okay. Uh, Multiverses, that WB fighting game that's a Smash Bros. clone. Yeah. So, so yeah. everyone knows, because like, again, last like last week, Multiverse is a real, really weak name. Oh, yeah. Uh, but they did a, like a big CG trailer to show off uh, that the beta is starting soon and stuff. And yep. they showed three new characters. It's going to have Velma, Taz, and Iron Giant. Cool. Uh, yeah, that trailer was really cool. I've um, now learned through beta footage already coming out that one of Elma's moves is to call the cops on her opponent, and then a cop it, car it, comes it, out and takes you away. It works like um, there's some character in Smash who has a move where they some. Steve's I think it works cart. like Steve's card, except you're not riding it. It just ta- it just catches the you, the opponent and takes them away. <laughs> yeah, uh, th- this cop card like navigates kind of like Nabbit does in Smash yeah. in that new Super oh, Mario God. Bros. PM's game where life starts- is fucking over. <laughs> yeah, it just jumps after you, but yeah. Jesus. Uh the the footage made me stroke out because it was because uh Velma's fighting um Garnet from Steven Universe, <laughs> meaning it's her calling the police on a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, I, yeah, I feel really like uh, I feel like I feel I feel like that uh, might I feel like before final that might be changed to the mystery machine. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I would really love for it to be. I'm sorry. Then we have uh, to change the fright <laughs> move. We can't do that. I I also lost it because at the end of the trailer there's like a big uh, there's like a group shot of all the characters they had revealed. And somebody edited a really accurate looking Gustavo Fring from the from Breaking Bad into the lineup and I was tricked for one second. I I was also like, don't, this might be the funniest thing ever if you put him in. You don't even own the ride, but you do it anyway. Because it has Super Saiyan Shaggy. Who, who, well, who fucking knows? Oh yeah, Taz is voiced by Jim's Cummings, if no one oh, if really? you didn't know. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you for the information. This is important. What's Jim Cummings done? Uh, I hear that guy's cat from Cat Dog. Oh, fuck. Unconfirmed, though. Um, let me see. Greedfall 2 got announced. It's called Greedfall 2 The Dying World. It's coming to PC and consoles in 2024. Uh, for people who don't know, this is a Eurojank um, weird like new world exploration game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Greedfall 2 is, I mean, Greedfall 1 is very, very explicitly Spiders trying to do Bioware. Oh, that's cool. Like, it's structured very similarly to uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, but I imagine probably better, because it probably is an all-filler. <laughs> Amazing how much that helps. Yeah. 
And my last piece of news, uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 announced English voice actors. Thank God, because those modes they announced yeah. of they will con talk constantly during the <sighs> gameplay. You need this. Otherwise, it's unplayable. Yeah, I don't. I, I prefer they just get better and realize they don't need to say a billion words a second in a platformer, but that's never going to happen. Yeah, it's never going to happen. So I'm glad we're getting a dub. That That's important if you're going to commit to needing them to say paragraphs and paragraphs of dialogue. It was really unfortunate that even in the trailer that they released is like, you have the announcer talking, then you have the characters talking under him. Yeah. So there's just constant sounds going off. I'm like, I can't, I can't understand any of this, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> You're getting buried by the guy from King of Fighters 15 or whatever. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, I think we might have some Inti Creates related news over in Feel's docket. <laughs> Feel, do you have anything that might relate to anyone connected to Inti Creates? Uh, <laughs> Asian Afune has resurfaced from the swamp. Uh, start, and he is starting a wave of NFTs called Beast Roids. Which are just transparently mavericks. Oh, 100%. And uh, he wasn't full, like, the, the webpage for them did not have his, his, like, did not have super heavy pushing for him. So people inexplicably were like, no, he's not actually involved. They're just using his name. And then, of course, when it actually launched, there was he, he was in full fucking video. <sighs> being like, NFTs are great. My brain doesn't work. This market has crashed already. Off the cliff I go. Uh, just to clarify, because I want history to hold this. They announced he did it. And then everyone on the internet who's a fan of KG and Fune went, whoa, they copied and pasted his bio from his site, so that's clearly fake. He doesn't, he didn't do a video where he told me personally that he did this, so that's fake. And it's like, guys, I get it. You like KG and Fune. He 100% would do this, and I do not understand you being like, well, this is obviously yeah, he fake. He he hasn't done a single thing since leaving Capcom that he didn't try to attach some enormous transmedia empire with a movie and an anime and a comic book yeah. and everything else too. This like is 100% the sort of thing he'd do. Like if anything I'm surprised he didn't announce some new terrible game. Yeah, yeah that's like, actually well, the more surprising like, <laughs> thing. I guess that takes capital though, like, right? right? Like like Mighty Number no. X, like his attempt to do Mega Man X or something hideous. Go ahead. They fuck you. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> I, like <laughs> then he does, and you buy, and you're like, wait a minute, this is just Mega Man X six. <laughs> hey Dan, what, what are you wearing to the event? Oh, you know my usual attire: a white button up shirt, a pocket protector, some giant glasses. I got a rolling rock with me. <laughs> <laughs> I. Yeah, I think the only thing that was somewhat meritable about maybe it's not him is those designs were even below what I expect from him. I don't know why people say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've played all the X games. Yeah. I've seen yeah, all no, they, of the times he's designed new things based on old things he's made. And I'm like, yeah, that looks like him. I don't. I, I guess I assumed that he didn't make some of those. But I, this the, does make me feel like, well, I guess he did design Slash Beast. Dude, he looks. Okay, that one guy, which I can't remember if it's Guardian V or whatever, just looks like Proto Man as an X6 character. Oh, the, there his zero replacement. Yeah, uh, that was absolutely him. Like that, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, the, that the, was no question on that one. The other fucking... one where it's like a uh, beast man with a giant claw. I was like, I don't know. I feel like he usually draws Proto Man or Zero. <laughs> I think the only one that's like really debatable. <sighs> Let me look at these. Hippo launcher looks like shit. That doesn't even look like a Maverick. <laughs> But I, could I believe that KG shat that out in order to get this going? Absolutely. I'm going to post that for people who haven't seen Hippo Launcher. There you go. Hippo Launcher is very cool. Um, Yeah, the, I don't... I genuinely pity anyone who's like certain that this could not be him. Those people, they're conned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they still have that a distortion around him after all these years of him just screwing them. Also, I don't know if yeah. this was out before it was announced it was him, but you should have seen this and been like, oh, that's like the fucking guys from Mega Man V on Game Boy. The cat? <laughs> uh, the cat is too much. I didn't see that until just now. What? Why? Oh. I think most of these other than Hippo Launcher look alright. 
Except, oh, and the zero one, the one that's just obviously just zero, but like Combo Man zero. Have you ever seen Combo Man? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Combo Man was a thing that Marvel Comics drew for uh, to, to advertise Combos the snack. Oh my what? God. I was like, "Well, wait, is it like the snack?" And then, oh like, my God. And then feels nowhere. like yes. So, uh, and, <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> Dan, yeah, yeah. I'm, pu I'm putting Combo Man in the thumbnail. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and then uh, I, I need to find a picture of that fucking Zero knockoff because it was so bad. I can't find one that isn't like buried in the fucking site. <sighs> Wait, maybe I can. I was like, yes, this. I can. Yeah, that like that that's just combo man zero. Yeah, yeah, it's just a random pile of other things and it was zero. Ugh. <sighs> isn't it fun isn't it funny how obvious it is now at this point in time that uh that level that like level the level five higher and buy of concept was obviously just like Inafune had a friend there who showed pity. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. Because he's he's he, like they they ain't been shipping games, but but even then they're like no 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 man we ain't giving you like what are you talking about we're not giving you any money. Yeah. What are you crazy? You, you made a mobile game that is so fucking irrelevant it doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. <laughs> Maybe Wikipedia Japan. <laughs> Maybe. That is that is already shut down and was shut down two years ago. <sighs> After they brought in someone to try to fix it. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, once again, I just feel bad for anyone who sits there and d d like, even if he didn't do this, this is something he clearly would do. He's yeah. Keiji Inafune. He's more in love with transmedia events than he is making games. Like, he's a businessman. This is who he is. It's who he always has been. I'm sorry that you emotionally need him to be something more than he is. But it's fine. Just just understand this is this is who he is and move on. It's fine. Yeah, it's the most on brand thing I've seen him do. I, yeah, I've watched ever. this. I've watched I've watched Mega Man fans' brains snap over this. Where they're just like, What? Well, maybe NFTs are cool. <laughs> Oh I, no! I'm serious. Yeah, I've yeah, watched it. They, they're crazy sometimes. Jesus. <sighs> well, do you have any non <laughs> anti creator related news, people? <sighs> yeah, we'll 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 end with the absolute worst one. Okay. Uh, uh, Twitter in a rare Twitch W. Uh, not Twitter. Twitch in a rare Twitch W is uh, gonna let you credit the artists in your emotes and grant the artist a special artist badge in chat cool yeah see yeah i already i already went back and like did that i like i went through my emotes and went all right who made this and then the other person has to like approve it like approve that they did in fact make that thing but they do just let you attach the badges they limit you to five though which is kind of lame yeah that's if weird I, especially that's if you're like a big channel you could have Real, Many people doing real things quick, for you. Limit you to crediting five different artists or crediting five emails? Uh, no, they only let you um give out five chat badges. Oh, so five but artists, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So, so effectively, um, oh. I hit a point where I told someone, I'm like, I had the cap. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, I know yeah, you that's... made one emo, but I can't give you this badge in the chat because I already gave it to five people. Jesus, that's really dumb. Maybe that's one of the things. Maybe they'll maybe they'll continue the W and listen and make that more people. But why would there be a limit? That's that's incredibly bizarre. Are you afraid that people are gonna exploit artist badges? It's it's literally an icon that will only appear within the the particular stream, and it's just it'll be next to like a mod icon if they're like modded or whatever. It's like a little little paint paint thing. Jesus Christ. Now you can credit them as like other Twitch users. Does does it also link into other social media? No, probably not. No, it, it was just the <laughs> it was just the Twitch account. So you like have to search through their like um, directory for the user. Okay. Just, yeah. yeah, it just builds based on every user in there. And that's a that's that's a real shame. At the same time, though, I'm like, wait, did I make most of our emails? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I feel like Shibuya made the coal, but I think that's it. I think she may be the only artist I need to credit. I need to go look into that. Um, there's also the Wii Boomers character. Oh, yeah. Cool. This, yeah, Zoro has it. Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, I laughed when I got to put Zoro as one of my artists. 
I'm like, you have you have my expensive emotes here of edited Brian Griffin. All right, let's just go ahead and give you the artist credit on this one. <laughs> it was very bold of KZ to name the emo edited Brian Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be really funny when his, his channel gets copyright struck by Disney. <laughs> oh, God! No. He's like, damn. They'll hit, the people, uh, they'll, they'll hit the people with numerous fucking Mickey Mouses. Yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna and, and other shit first, because some people don't give a fuck on this website. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, some, some people are clearly insane. I, I just think it would be funny. The, the, the Disney gets KZ, and then KZ's like, wait, why didn't I make a Mickey Mouse emote if this was gonna happen anyway? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Anyways, that's a cool feature. I'm glad they added it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, GameStop is doing NFTs. We don't know anything about it yet. They started. They posted <laughs> about it today. Uh, people are already shitting in their mouths. Should a company that's actively going bankrupt really be getting into NFTs? Did I talk about the last time that I went to GameStop on this show? You did. Because it was only like, okay. Because um, like, I went in there, it's like, you don't have any games anymore, and then I left. This is <laughs> weird, because I feel like six or eight months ago, we ta we heard about them doing NFTs, and now they're just saying they're doing it again? Bob, let me explain. I, uh, the uh, financial world is a lot like magic. Sometimes you say incantations out loud to stave off death. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some might consider Reggie uh, a teacher uh, to help you protect you against the dark arts. <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to say how you feel out loud. Yeah. Uh, hell, parentheses, Fall Guys is going free to play June 21st and coming to Xbox Switch and epic game store uh they are doing the thing where we're taking it off steam and if you bought it on steam you might be fucked yeah that oh, that needs to stop oh, that come needs on. to tim, stop tim, tim sweeney needs to i mean ideally he needs to stop this for throwing money in a hole for fucking nothing i i'm sorry bro it's been years epic game store ain't taken off um it seems to solely exist so you can upset people <laughs> <laughs> huh. then why is he taking hell off of steam <laughs> Very confusing. Because the fucked up thing about hell is most people there think they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh now Yeah, it's fucked up. They announced like some sort of course builder thing that they're gonna gonna actually put in there too. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> where, where I'm like, allow me. So what first give me some eggs. <laughs> hey Dan. Yeah. No! We fall no! on your ball guy. No! No! <laughs> Maybe. That, that was so worth it. That pause. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, like Moon Card Xenoblade 1 is all the laser sights from Field just materialize on his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The Series S is getting a separate disk drive. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. It. So you're gonna. So it's gonna be two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, like that. That's not even up for debate. So you're you. So now for the same price as a Series X, you can have a worse piece of hardware with half the hard drive space. Did you hear the the patent about this? That's even more insane than just selling a disk drive. No. <laughs> I need you to understand I'm not making this shit up. Because okay. this sounds like a joke Agro would make on armchair devs or I would say in the middle of a fever pitch rant at Microsoft. Okay. Let's say you wanted to play a physical game on your Series S. Well, good news for you. This patent from Microsoft says you can insert the disc into an Xbox in your house and via the network it can certify that that disc is in that system and as long as it remains in that system, you might be able to play it on the digital console. This is, of course, assuming nothing goes wrong with the internet or anything else, so, which... Um, <laughs> so, so this, this, this patent proves to me that the people at Microsoft are inside an intense bubble. Yes. Because I have seen people say, 
verbatim, I'm saying this verbatim, but I've seen multiple people express this exact, all, all Xbox, like, m media people, by the way, no normal human beings. Um, <laughs> like, like all people like Ryan McCaffrey and Jeff Grubb and whatnot, say something to the effect of, the Series S is a great bedroom Xbox. Yeah, all the time they oh, say yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I see that everywhere. It's like, one, do you hear how insane that sounds? Like, Bob, could you imagine we did content and I said the sentence without any level of self-awareness. Yeah, I think the LG C1 OLED 55-inch $1,200 TV is a really good bedroom TV. <laughs> I knew you were going to say bedroom OLED. I just, I think it's, you know, you want the more premium OLED, like a $3,000 one for the living room. But I think this one's good enough. I don't know. I think the bedroom one needs to be the G1 so I can mount it in my ceiling. <laughs> Every day I hope it falls down and crushes me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that 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 has always driven me insane when they say that. I'm yeah. like, do you realize how insanely out of touch you sound? This is my bedroom three hundred dollar console. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe to some people that makes perfect fucking sense, but to me it always felt insane. Like it's, Yeah, it, it, it's really crazy. Like that's or do you have any idea whatsoever how normal people live? No. They're beyond the pale at this point. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, okay, we got to talk about it. Um, uh. Uh, so Activision has been doing union busting in the middle of a union election by Raven Software Game Testers. They fired 12 people who were talking too much about union unions, which, uh, by the way, you, you cannot do by federal law. Uh, has transferred others to different departments and is now just being like, if we catch you doing this, you're, you're not going to get promoted and we're going to take your benefits away. Uh, and and now, I'm. do I think one, with 100% certainty that every single insane thing that that is not directly related this that, that comes out of Blizzard is, to dist is a distraction? Yes, actually, I do think y that. Yeah, but, that's, of they, course. They, they have the track record where it's actually entertainable. But at, at this point, like, if you're still giving them rope, like, why? Like, what what possible motivation could you ever have for the, for any announcement they make on top of something horrible coming out for you to be like, they obviously aren't related. <laughs> like, what 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 is the point of your what is the point of your stance on that? Like, you're just 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 just, just shut up. You're like you're dumb. Well, I, well, let like, me explain. They're dumb. I think this is the funniest it's ever been, though, because usually it's something that people could potentially get hyped about. Instead, they're that barrel is empty. They instead crept I mean, out some, I mean, the some, sludge. Some exec, <laughs> some executive thought they would get hyped about this. Yes, I know. But instead, they reached it with a spoon and found literal toxic waste. <laughs> that they're like, you eat this, right? <laughs> no. So, uh, Blizz, uh, Actibliz acquired King. The uh, mobile game dev at some fucking point. Um, let me look. Uh, uh, February 2016. Uh, King has this thing. It is. It is an. It is a calculator and ranking system, and I guess algorithm in some capacity for ranking the diversity of characters meant to combat unconscious bias in in designing characters. Now, real quick, before we detail this. In no world is making a computer in charge going to make things not racist because that's not how that works. Continue. Yeah, that's it's li <laughs> it's literally has the it's literally in literally every single case in human history it in fact had the exact opposite effect. Yeah. Um. So they put out this article where it has like an unbelievably insane graph of like of a of Lucia Lucio, uh, Zarya, and Torbjorn. Mm-hmm. With like, with like their rankings on this, like, the, like you know, in JoJo where they have the stand power grid, <laughs> yes. where it has like, where it has six oh, categories yes. and it forms like the shape with the ranking. It has that for diversity. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, one of these categories being, can they get away with saying it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 assault, I assaulted some of my co-hosts at the start of Friday stream because the news just dropped. I'm like. Guys, you see Blizzard's new ethnicity tier list? It the, uh let me let me see if I can find the list of what explicitly 
Now, <laughs> diversity space method. Uh, here are the axes of this seven point graph. Oh no. Culture. What? Ethnicity. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> age. Ability. Which, uh, which the more detailed version, which some, which has leaked, uh, has been out, which is specifically cognitive ability, body type, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Oh my God. So, uh, everyone has, has a potential of 10, which has led to some unbelievably insane things. Like, I, I'm just going to go off the, the, the chart of the three characters from what I see here. Uh, Zarya has a higher gender identity, which seems to just be because she's a woman. Yeah, I guess. Unless someone there has a really mistaken idea and assumed things about her that I don't want to even say. Or, or she's just buff. Just, yeah, just and that's what I was saying, slightly... like, based on that. Right, and that's probably and what that, it is. And that's really infuriating, personally. <laughs> As the person who had to um, sit through that fucking The Last of Us 2 video where it's like, well, obviously, Abby is uh, coded. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, like, God, I'm looking those. right... Well, let's uh, not get into yeah, those no, I just, I want to yeah, throw yeah, them yeah, in a no, fucking but, wheat thrasher. Anyway. But like, this whole but algorithm yeah. is them. <laughs> like, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so I'm, lo I'm looking at one of the screenshots that, like, lists, uh, <sighs> lists the character Anna. Mm -hmm. And they're like... Here, here, here's all the things on the graph, and it's all like <laughs> drop down menus where it's like culture, and you click it, and it's like Egyptian seven. What is that? But but then it's like physical ability one eyed four. Okay, I'm, just, yeah. I'm I'm confused at how this shit works when they're like gender identity woman five. Okay, so this is this is uh, so the seven points are compressed down on the on the Anna one. It's uh, eleven. No, it's ten. There's ten possible axes to this fucking chart but we'll, we'll, we'll go one at a time on all the things that made me have, have a stroke <laughs> uh so zaria and lucio have or lucio have i have identical culture scores so so in terms of culture brazilian and russian are the same uh torbjorn <laughs> has zero which even by like do you understand that no. Like, Nordic <laughs> cultures are, are not the Anglosphere. Like, yeah, like yes, the Anglosphere of, like, the United States, Can Can Canada, and Britain, like, express cultural hegemony over the entire fucking world. But that, like, Norway isn't part of that. So, already, we're getting really stupid. Um, ability, T Torbjorn has a really high ability score, which I have to assume is because he has an artificial arm. Like he has a prosthetic, or because he's short. Oh, I didn't even. Well, think that of would that. be body type. That would be body type. Well, uh -huh. no, because they might view body type as just exclusively like. Keep in mind, these people are insane. Uh, they might just view that as like a what is seen as a stereotypically normal Hollywood attractive. So the short but thing might literally only apply to like ability in that case. Maybe. Christ. Yeah, <laughs> us trying to figure out what they mean by this racist chart let's is not out, good. <laughs> let's figure out how let, bigoted let, these uh, bigots are. <laughs> let, let, let's go through the let's go through the Anna chart, and we'll just we'll, I'll just hit each bullet point real sure. quickly. And if anybody else wants to comment on it, they can. Uh, so on culture, she has Egyptian, which is a seven, which means probably Middle Eastern cultures are, are near the top. Uh, uh, race is also at a seven because she's Arabian or Arabic. Uh, Age is also age is also seven because she's sixty. Man, uh, wait, wait, wait. Cognit they, how is sixty a seven? You said she was a seven for age, right? Yeah, that's a really high cap. They set. They're like, man, this is really progressive. This bitch is one hundred and ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I assume. I assume that like if you're, I, I assume it's like twenty is zero, under twenty is maybe one, and then it goes up the older you are. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we have one of those lowly vampire characters. I know. Like, no. it's Why are we both in the That's same place? Th I think it's three thousand year old dragons a ten. Yeah, it's like this is insane. That's not how that. <laughs> oh, stupid motherfucking asshole! They did it. They solved diversity. Yeah, uh, cognitive ability zero. That means this is a neurodivergency ranking. Um, okay. 
Uh, physical ability four because they're one eyed, so that obviously is like prosthetic limbs, okay, physical deformities, that sort of thing. Sure. Uh, body type slim plus curvy zero. Wait. Well, because that's not diverse. Every character, like the, the, this, this, and this whole conceit means that they have to have a very, very uh, narrow and, frankly, kind of weirdly offensive conceit of default. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's the problem. We're supposed to be combating here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, but, but they're 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 Silicon Valley sociopaths, so that, so they don't understand human emotion. Uh, facial features slash beauty slightly aged one. <laughs> If you're attractive, that's that's not diverse. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. I thought diverse people were attractive, but I guess I'm wrong, aren't I, Blizzard? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, gender identity, woman, five. <laughs> you know, Bob. What's up? I'm going to have to send in a picture, a picture of Tosh. Uh -huh. Get them to rank her. <laughs> hey, guys, rank my girlfriend. She's really fucking am... short. <laughs> uh, uh, I am. I am so... <laughs> fucking desperate for someone to leak a version of this software. Oh god, yes! Yeah, yeah we all need to know. Just but, buzz it open. But here's the thing we're gonna find out, Feel. <laughs> this isn't software. They just crowdsourced a bunch of racists talking about character designs. <laughs> uh, this is this isn't uh, actual software. It's just a room. Tank. It's just a think tank of bigots. <laughs> okay, come up to the desk, hit the drop down menus, and then you can go home. <laughs> Uh, sexual orientation, heterosexual zero. Here is where the shit would really get fucked up if they if this shit leaks. Knowing their knowing their LGBT rankings. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, I need the There's tier list. One. <laughs> there oh, is God. no way that ends well for them. <laughs> Sorry, hun. The new medicine trans is out. You're just not it's, it's pulling gonna, as hard as buy for some reason. It's gonna <laughs> say it's gonna, Ace wins yet again. <laughs> it's gonna say something like like lesbian one and the coal company will burst into flame. <laughs> <laughs> the deal falls through immediately. <laughs> Uh, and socioeconomic background, middle class zero. So I, I presume if you're, if you're, if they're wealthy or poor, they, they get more points. Uh, I, I would uh, hope being wealthy wouldn't give you more points, but. Uh, and it, it, this isn't directly related to this because this is all insane. Uh, the, uh, King did an absolutely insane uh, GDC talk like five years ago when they created the software. Which uh, it's it's really funny that they made it, and then Activision was like, "We're gonna set ourselves on fire with it." <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, I would I would that GDC talk felt like I was catapulted back to 2012 with all the frankly shockingly open racism. Like they literally never mentioned Japanese games once, except to to shit on them. I I can't I can't I can't deal with that. Like I wouldn't be able to deal with that. I couldn't sit through an entire panel of that. It's just, it's too, it's too fucking stupid and ignorant. Yeah, it, it now, and uh, uh, and a thing a lot of people noticed and was like, hey, how come, how come uh, the Cowboys still call McCree in this internal software that you're showing us? How, how, how come, how come they're still called McCree Blizzard? Yeah, they, they since renamed it to uh, Black Cold Lives Matter Cassidy. Boulevard. Cassidy. Yeah, Black Lives Matter Boulevard. <laughs> yeah. Now, I always kind of suspected that a, a thing that came out of Blizzard when this whole thing broke, the shit with the McCree guy, was that the people in the trenches really wanted to rename McCree, but executives didn't. So it was an epic win for the employees. Uh, this makes me think that was just fucking made up to, 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 to sound like they were doing anything. Because the people dealing with this software would be people in the trenches who would be more motivated to change it if that was if they cared at all maybe that's a wrong read but just, this is just, this is just like they literally just were like we're just going to set blizzard on fire publicly how, how long before blizzard employees just start to quit cuz they don't want to work at blizzard anymore like I, even I, if they weren't abused i have like, no idea I, I don't want to be associated with this company anymore i'm surprised I bet we have it's happening seen it more. and it just hasn't come out yet probably probably yeah there's there are like some people on staff that went, I'm so fucking tired of this. 
Like, I like, can't imagine I work it on feels... Overwatch and every fucking week, every time I feel like we're making some progress, fucking some clown shit like this thing comes out. They're like, we don't even know what the fuck this is. Yeah, I, I could have sworn that the people who worked on Overwatch was like, we don't really use that software. That's something we got from King. <laughs> Yeah, they literally went, we don't use this fucking, I hate our parent companies, literally what the employee tweeted. <laughs> now, now here, now, uh, this, this isn't, so, I have to make, make it clear that isn't, this isn't something I, this isn't an observation I made, I got this from Pat Stairs at. Uh, I just need to credit him for this. The two characters in Overwatch that are openly queer are Tracer and Soldier 76. The characters that would have the lowest diversity scores using this software. I mean, yeah, logically speaking, the the way you be the most progressive is to make the most popular character, uh, you know, any anything which, LGBT. Uh, where it, which it's, a, it's a, entirely possible they were like these ones are too low on the chart. We have to make them gay to get the number up. I feel like it doesn't matter if they use the software at all because I'm very skeptical of that. Mm -hmm. I think it's far more likely that they're like, look, guys, if we announce Zarya's like trans or something, nobody, no one will care nearly as much as Tracer because everyone loves Tracer. This is what they believe at Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, uh, uh, see, when I say like they, I don't mean like actual people making these games. I mean some psychopath in a corner office. I need to make that clear. Okay. Who just stumble? Who just stumbles out drunk, which we know happens at Blizzard, and just makes everything worse for a while, and then goes back <laughs> and falls asleep, like a fucking bear that exists in the office. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm gonna like obviously no idea if this software is even actually used in any capacity other than just like an executive playing phrenologist in his office. Yeah, but if it is, bet bet your money they have a maximum score too. Oh. Can't make them too diverse. That'll scare the gamers away. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you could max out everything conceivably. I, oh, you mean they they have a limit. <laughs> There's a ceiling. <gasps> Fantastic. It turns out that's great. It turns out that ceiling is seven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So like, like, let's look at the two. I'm, I'm just, let's just break down the two possibilities here real quick. Okay, sure. Possibility, possibility one is they don't use the software. At all. Uh huh. Uh, that is psychotic because they just set themselves on fire for no reason. Some insane PR executive thought this would get them over, or they didn't even care and just wanted to distract people from the union busting story. Because they thought this was a win. <laughs> or they are using it, and the only capacity I can see this actually being used is for a white executive to beat on non white creators with it. It's like the software says it's not good enough black woman and then throws the fucking binder at her. Like th that's how it's that's how this would be used in practice. Like in my mind there is no other way. I'm noticing like, on this yeah, diversity I, I, software there's there's a category here that doesn't really make sense with the others and he's like what do you mean? Well, uh, this is body type, culture, race. That one just says feet. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, thank yeah, you, the, Activision the, Blizzard. The feet one no, is my... weird. The feet, the feet one is weird. Uh, but boss, why is there one that says skull shape? Mm. Well, you know, it's to check if they have the correct one. Uh, <laughs> sir, I have and more then, questions. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then, ever of course, the, the the thing everybody immediately goes to is post Winston's post Winston's chart. I mean, <laughs> Oh, what's what what's typical for a gorilla? I don't know. Maybe they do. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Thank you, Phil, for the fantastic news. We had to KC. Thanks. And KZ. Uh, you got yeah, some news yeah. that does involve Activision Blizzard. Uh, thank God. Yeah, right. I have, I've had too much. Uh, uh, let, let, me, let me eyeball my stuff here. Yeah, no. No, I don't have anything there. Fantastic. Um... I guess I'll start with this one. We have a Silent Hill news block. Uh, this is courtesy of um, VGC and various insiders. So here's how my role for, for whenever I do news with insiders. Mm -hmm. I have to find at least two that aren't Jeff Grubb. Yeah, that's and that, right. that, that counts. <laughs> yeah. And that's like that. That's my official role. You know what my rule is? It's it's kind of similar. OK, OK. My rule is if if I can find a source, that's worth bringing up. 
if there are only two sources and the other one's Jeff Grubb, then it starts getting questionable. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you start you start loudly sweating a little bit. Uh, Jeff Grubb, literally a negative point towards credibility, <laughs> right? Yep. So so this entire thing just started bleeding out uh, as soon as uh, Dust Golem leaked those screenshots uh, of a Silent Hill thing, <laughs> and then within six hours they all got DMCA. Yeah, we we finished Big Think. We're we're fucking around for a minute, <laughs> but it gets DMCA, and I'm like, oh, that shit was real. I mean, it looked it, but now we know for sure. Yeah, I like it because you're like, I guess those aren't hitting Big Think's fucking image section. Yeah, so that, like, that reinforced a thought yeah. I have for Big Think down the road where I'm like, yeah, I need to make sure we don't accidentally slip in an image like that ever. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I I would never edit in something where we go, something leaked. I'm like, nope, <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah. But there will never be a visual aid. And <laughs> we Official information is what, what gets shown, like Combo Man. Mm-hmm. But we have a, a lot of a lot of people posted some information. VGC uh, collected stuff from their sources and stuff. So what we have uh, here is a curated list of of news. Bloober team, uh, known for such things as uh, the medium, uh, apparently their Silent Hill project is a remake of Silent Hill Two. Uh, I wrote, yikes, <laughs> because that yeah. may be the yeah I, the worst I, I, idea I, where it's like. My last game was about how pedophiles are okay and that trauma victims should kill themselves. I think a game, th I, th I think a team that makes a game that where a, a let's be very generous and say a, plural a plurality of people who play this game, not a majority of plurality, mm -hmm. who play this game, leave with, the, leave with thinking it has the theme of you can't recover from trauma, the best you can do is kill yourself so you don't harm someone else. That team shouldn't be remaking one of the most empathic games ever made. <laughs> it it is it is kind of crazy <laughs> that, that 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 even just got approached. I I was kind of just losing it. I'm like, good. That team has has failed upwards so well. Good for them. <laughs> Bad I'm, for humanity. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I'm, I'm tired of these really, really bad indie teams getting to work on these big IPs. Like, it just makes me think of Panzer Dragoon and, uh, God, what was the that shooter? House of the Dead getting yeah. remade by that, that studio that absolutely uh, should not yeah. remake anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, and everything about this studio where it's like, here's our thinly veiled ripoff of PT that's going to get us some money. We made the tech to make like two worlds appear on one screen in the medium. We're never going to use it again because it was too hard, but we'll patent it though, so no one else. Can. Yeah, it seems like all their games is like, well, we're going to patent this cool thing that we're never going to use again. Let's just make the world slightly worse. Thanks, buddy. Yep. So we got that. That's one of them. Uh, apparently. And there's like some sources going back and forth on whether or not this one's fully locked in. Uh, Annapurna. Uh, is allegedly going to do uh, a small Silent Hill project that's like episodic short stories. So it's that, gonna be like they're little they're small not things. a they're not a dev. Yeah, yeah. So so I don't know who. Yeah, we don't know. It seems to be a blind mask. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, don't let Heart Machine make any of them. <laughs> God, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine. Oh no, Snagglepuss is in the hospital. <laughs> See, instead of it being Pyramid Head ripping your skin off and throwing it out a door, it rips off your fursuit. <laughs> no! <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> the, the, the other one is a, an actual mainline Silent Hills uh, in development. Uh, this is likely the Japanese one that's been long rumored for, like, a, a large chunk of Big Think's lifetime. Uh, Which we know is real because they DMC'd them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, this is the uh, one the pictures uh, leaked uh, from. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the, the one with the leaked pictures before, just a, an entire screenshot of it was just Japanese text. So I can only assume that that is the, the big mainline one. Apparently that was supposed to be for like some sort of interactive teaser for that. Which um, a lot of this stuff is kind of lining up with Konami saying we actually have games that we plan on like revealing last year. Um, but, but it's not ready yet, so we're not going to do a, an E3 appearance, so I'm like, okay, I'm willing to believe you're going to put out some video games, I, I prefer if you didn't put out all of these. 
But, you know. I mean, Silent Hill's always been the dumping ground for just all swaths of good and bad. Like, they had yeah. two WayForward made action... Were there two? Yeah. Wait, I no, it was I just guess, the I Vita. Guess it, I guess just that one Vita one, yeah. Where it was like a yeah, Diablo-like. Of, yeah. Yeah, the Book of Memories one that was just Vita dungeon crawler. Yeah, yeah the, 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 like once Silent Hill 4 came out, which by the way would have been a much better project to give Bloober Team because one, people aren't as invested in it, and two, it uh, aged really well, what with the pandemic and all, considering it's about being trapped in a room. Right. You can't leave uh, your apartment. Sorry. But like every single thing that since then has just been uniformly considered trash. Like homecoming oh. trash, downpour trash, shattered memories, c- people kind of think that one's okay. Uh, zero trash. Yeah, I, I, I have to apologize for saying, you know, it's maybe a little crazy of them working on this many things because, um, if I recall, they Yeah, the, the, the three... month of Silent Hill. Yes, in one month they dropped um, the Vita one. They dropped Downpour and the fucking HD remaster that might be the worst remaster of all time up there with, like, GTA. I hope they just dropped all of them out at once. I hope Konami's working on their other IPs, because this is a bunch oh. on Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're working on something with Castlevania. Right. You just have no yeah. idea oh, why. Yeah, they, yeah they, there have been leaks, so... I mean, plus Netflix. Yeah. Like, yeah. Netflix did well, the collection did well. There's no way in which... There's no world in which Bloodstain did well, and they're, they're, they must be seething over that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, they they seem to be working on some stuff over there. Cool. But that's our news block for that. Uh, maybe we'll see one of these in the summer of gaming. That that mystical event. Come on, Jeff Keeley. Yep. All right, we got we got a few more quickies here. Um, during a Final Fantasy VII, the what is that battle royale called? The First Soldier, something like that. Yes. Yeah, First Soldier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They did another. They did a live stream like covering some of the new content, like some collabs they were doing. Uh, and uh, uh, Namor over the mic said that they were going to be doing a, a lot of news next month for the twenty fifth anniversary, uh, which likely is going to be whenever Crisis, that mobile game that they've been working on, is going to probably get a release date. But also, both Katase and Namora this year have said they just want to show some sort of teaser for uh, part two of the remake project. So there is some level of a chance that they'll actually show something. Cool. For that. Uh, So we got that. Excited for that. Uh, The Witcher 3 next-gen update is expected to launch quarter four of this year. Which is the um, seventh anniversary of The Witcher 3. (laughs) Ah, that came, that came was I thought that game was like a spring release. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were like, we're gonna try to make it for the seventh anniversary in the announcement. May eighteenth, so we're already past it. <laughs> oh, that's maybe they just meant the year, dude. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, we can we can hold on years. All right, that's how we're operating on any video game anniversary, especially when they have to restart development on <laughs> right. themselves. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, let's go, year Luigi. Uh, another one we got, MiHoYo, that's the Genshin Impact developer, announced a new game, Zenless Zone Zero, with a sick-looking trailer. This is coming out on, like, phones and PC and console. This this looked really cool. Like a uh, like a more, like, modern city-looking action game. Yeah, did you see this trailer, feel? Yeah, I watched it. Okay, yeah, me and Bob looks watched neat. it, too. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, I, I, I filled out yeah. that sur- survey to get in the beta. They have some fun questions. Oh, yeah, no, those are hilarious. I'm glad you remembered to bring that up. (laughs) They let you choose from a bunch of different games uh, that you have experience with. So, you know, there's Genshin, there's Devil May Cry, there's Dark Souls. And they they ask you how many hours you've played of them. So I can finally tell them I play over 150 hours of Devil May Cry. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go! (laughs) They're like, how much Genshin? And you're like, "Uh, infinite? Where do I... (laughs) Hmm. I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> I I told them I played their game for 700 hours and they literally emailed me a JPEG of teen girls laughing at me and pointing, being mean. <laughs> Thank God that's on the low end for people. <laughs> God oh. damn. But yeah, that no. game's free. There are people who do nothing but play it. Oh, yeah, 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 for certain. And to some extent, for some people, that makes sense, right? It keeps them from doing other things. Like, I knew a dude, I had a coworker, 
dude was in the military. He literally held the job he had with me so he wouldn't spend money because it kept yeah, him at I a job. When I, when I worked at uh, when I worked at Target, I I had a coworker who was like, I have two jobs because if I don't, if I'm not constantly at work, I go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> See, so you know, Genshin helping the populace. <laughs> And my uh, my last story, closing out news. Uh, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl got three more DLC uh, characters announced. Uh, one of them's already out, including uh, Jenny from uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot, uh, Hugh Neutron from Jimmy Neutron, and uh, Rocco from Rocker's Modern Life. I'm losing it because of the meme power of Hugh Neutron. He got in over his son. I was gonna say, is Jimmy Neutron in there yet? I thought he was just in the initial I don't roster. Think he's in- I don't think he's in there. I think it's because the devs are friends with the voice actor for Hugh Neutron. Oh, that's funny as shit. It is how is how people described it to me. Also, apparently there's some voice line or piece of dialogue that Jenny has in this that's directly from the show that had to get removed because more people associate it with a porn animation. Oh, God, of course. So wait, are, are there voices in this now? No, it was it was it was a text win quote. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, it was a text win quote. But they are at they are at <laughs> sadly at sadly this sadly now. this game is still is, is still uh not real. Yeah, I was very excited about uh Neutron's uh, <laughs> entrance into the roster until I remembered there weren't voices, and I'm like, it fires no new, uh, neurons anymore. I'm sorry. This just it doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, he's got he's got to say words. Yeah, he's got to say words. Yeah, I, I think they probably felt bad that a multiverse cinematic trailer came out. <laughs> yeah. I feel really bad for the devs of that. Like, Nick just cut their throat. 100%. Worth noting. With, for <laughs> no, for absolutely no gain whatsoever. S- Smash Bros. on the N64 had voices. <laughs> right? There's no yeah. excuse. Oh. Yeah. It did. Also... Now that I'm thinking about that multiverse trailer again, man, fucking Batman's cold. He just tried to kill bugs for no reason. <laughs> you fucking seen him? Have you been around bugs for like 10 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> That's about all it takes. He, he wasn't around it for fucking four seconds. He was, he was like, I'm out. He could tell it with a threat. <laughs> uh, uh, well, see, ba- <laughs> see, Batman watched the a- that AVGN video, so he knew what was coming. Exactly. <laughs> oh, god damn it. He's not going to shit on me. <laughs> and then he runs over him in the car. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> if he just had the Captain Falcon super move, <laughs> but it made the game cr- crash, basically run up three frames per second as yeah, the Batmobile as, appears. As Nolan style Batmobile is just pummeling its way down a road <laughs> and then runs over Bugs Bunny. <laughs> that would be really good. <laughs> I saw people making edits that they uh, they're gonna add the guy from Drive to <laughs> multiverses. Oh, they should. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That would be incredible for sure. At least when he doesn't talk, it would make sense. <laughs> I'm just imagining the elevator scene, but but the other person is Steven Universe. <laughs> He stomped his head in multiple times. Oh I hate it because God. all I was thinking about is yes, the, his stage will be the elevator. <sighs> his, his windscreen is just staring intently at the the audience. His his lips his lips puff out a little, <laughs> just the slightest bit, and then it pops up with his name. <laughs> the toothpick moves slightly. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I, I'm, uh, yeah. I mean. It, a lot, a lot of characters have like leaked out from that, just through like data mining, or a character mentioned another character, so they're like, LeBron James will be in this. Gizmo uh, that is what that is what one this. of those leaks said. That sucks. Yeah. Wait, G- Gizmo? Who the fuck's like, Gizmo from from Gremlins? Yeah, Gremlins. Yes. Good. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, no, Gizmo Duck is Disney, so it can't be them. <laughs> I, I appreciate though that you immediately went, well, Gizmo Duck, because you know. That's yeah, I was like, I, I want to hear, I want to hear him say blathering blatherskite. <laughs> like, like I, I need all these characters to be real because they have shit like Godzilla and Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice would like, be really good reference. 
referenced by other people. And the Wicked Witch from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, they, they need, I'm gonna... I'm, uh, if, if Beetlejuice is in it, I look forward to all the nice fucking model memes on Twitter. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> The, you, the, the, you, the devs better put extra effort into how he looks. I mean, uh, they have Iron Giant, so Godzilla doesn't seem out of the picture. Yeah, like, yeah they, for sure. If they have that guy. I, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think they need two different models, though, for Beetlejuice. Maybe it's just me. You get something that looks more like the movie with one of them and more like the cartoon with the other one. Mm -hmm. And the two different voice actors. You get Keaton for the normal. And you get the cartoon guy for the other one. That would be really good. Oh, I, it would be. Uh, I. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, our characters have two entire voice lines. Uh, how are you doing over there, Nick? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> right. Uh, we've decided to add voice lines to the mobile tennis game because we really just wanted to kill this fighting game, Deb. God. Anyways, uh, that's it for news. Uh, cool. You know, I wasn't going to announce it, but me and Bob are playing the medium on Friday. We're very excited for that. <laughs> that is definitely real. Uh, uh, KZ, what are you doing? <laughs> Tell them what you're actually what you I... actually are playing. Uh, that mystery will have to hang into the air. <laughs> I will also be. Uh, I'm going to be doing a death... Uh, I will have done a death stream by this point of uh, Banjo-Tooie since we hit that goal uh, last week. Pre pretty easily from chat. Very excited to go through that. And uh, and after that, I'm just going to continue my, my efforts toward moving. Hey, Phil. Uh, I'm going to try to get back into streaming. No promises it'll be this week. I got to work out stream elements because stream labs is run by pieces of shit. Yeah. Uh, and also, also, I'm working a manual labor job, so... I yeah. don't always want to be like, how do I set this chart? How do I set the alerts up? I got to get all my resources back. Well, that's that's exciting. So, uh, but, but I really in the near future, uh, I will be up and rolling a bare minimum by uh, by the time it's time to play uh, AI the Somnium Files, the Nirvana Initiative, because I have to I have to experience his vision. <laughs> yeah, which uh, going by that character trailer has some really huge tits in it. <laughs> <laughs> You were saying, Dad? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I really do enjoy Field streams. Like, I really enjoyed when he was streaming regularly. So this is a pretty hype return. Because yep. let me be real, every game he streamed is one we never will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's kind of helps me pick sometimes. <laughs> yeah, put the hot dog costume on. He was gonna be like, yeah, everything's great. I started streaming again, and the next day they'll be like, Dragon Age is coming out by the end of the year, and you have to play it. <laughs> That's all in the press release. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Big Think Dimension. If you would like to support us, head on over to www.patreon.com slash gbpodcast, where you can get extra podcasts and early access to our anime podcast, Chugging Bleach and Mondo Cool. Head on over there and become a $5 backer or podlord today. This month's Gigaboots videos were brought to you by the continued support of our executive producers, such as Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Red Blaze 27, Brendan O'Sullivan, Burning Pepsi Man, Adam Admar, Cooper Tank, and Virmvarm. Thank you very much to our executive producers, and also these gamers. If you want to support Gigaboots so we can continue the content crunch, then head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today.